Hello. Hello, ma'am. Can we start? Uh, yes, ma'am. We'll wait for yes, another one. 100 people have joined. Mm, it will join. 350 registrations. No? They'll come. Okay. Mustaka. Good afternoon, Mustak. Yes, ma'am. Can we start with an video? It is two o'clock, yeah. no? two minutes is there. No, no. already is two five months. Yeah, then you can start with the video, no? Okay. okay. Thank you. 
Okay, Good morning, one and all. Today, the topic of the webinar is going to be about the software tools for modern remote teaching. See, nowadays, uh, due to COVID-19, we are all uh, facing online teaching, online uh, courses, so many things. So we need to know a lot of tools are available. We need to know all the tools, not all the tools, some of the tools you need to know to cope up with this online contents. So that is why we are going to see about the software tools. And today's speaker is Dr. D. Lakshmi. And uh, she's going to be speaking about the software tools. Any question and answer, please post it only in the question and answer, not in the chat box. And feedback form will be sent to your email. And then later the certificate will be sent to your email. Now our HOD will be uh, addressing the participants. Thank you. A great afternoon to one and all present here. And uh, uh, welcome from AMC Engineering College. Uh, I'd like to welcome all the participants, attendees, and panelists for this webinar. Uh, I would like to thank Dr. Lakshmi to accepting our invitation and uh, ready to accepted invitation to give this webinar. Uh, about AMC Engineering College, uh, might have all of you have seen the video now. AMC Engineering College was established under Paramahamsa Foundation Trust and located in Banargata Road, Bangalore. Uh, the trust members are highly qualified and educationalists. Uh, our beloved chairman, Dr. K. R. Paramahamsa, our vice chairperson, Ms. Keita Paramahamsa, vice president, Monica Kaluri, and executive vice president, Mr. Rahul Kaluri. Always support. Uh, to the education system uh, wholeheartedly. Uh, AMCEC is headed by Dr. A.G. Nataraj, principal, is a professor with a rich experience uh, of 34 years in academics and administrative and research domain in technical education. He is an academic, is a present now is an, an academic senate member of VTU and held a number of positions in the VTU. Uh, in his absence, uh, we welcome our principal and all our trust members. And AMC is accredited by NAC with a B++ grade. And AMC uh, also uh, accredited by uh, NBA as Washington Accord from 2018 to 2021. Also listed in NRF ranking with a band of 251 to 300. And uh, AMC offers a nine UG programs uh, and uh, six PG programs, MBA and MCA, having 10 research centers in the various departments. Each department is having a center of excellence. Coming to the Department of Electronics and Communication, Department of EC is, uh, uh, Department of uh, Electronics Communication uh, is established in the year 1999 as a present intake of uh, uh, 180 students uh, with, a re with a staff ratio of one is to 17, offering an undergraduate and postgraduate programs at a recognized research center under VTU, and a post, two postgraduate programs, uh, Digital Electronics and Communication Engineering, VLSI Design and Embedded Systems. The department is, in, is having a recognized research center uh, affiliated to VTU, and it's accredited by NBA for three years and retired to for 2018 to 21. The department has received 12 VTU ranks and four gold medals from VTU for UG and PG program consistently. Vision of the department the depart, the, to develop an outstanding electronics and communication engineers to meet the ever-changing social and technological needs of the society. To reach the vision, the department EC has signed with the MOU with various organizations to provide a live project for engineering students of UG and PG, industrial visits, workshops, seminars, uh, international conferences, mini projects, and also product development. Uh, this, it is indeed fortunate to have an excellent team of faculty members and it's committed towards providing quality technical education. The department has well equipped laboratories to cater the need of the VTU curriculum effectively. EC department receives grant from AICT, IST, VTU, TechUP 1.3, Institute of Engineers, et cetera, to conduct a faculty development program, skill development program for students, non-teaching staff, also received funds from IEEE, KCST, IETE for student projects. Department encourages students and faculty for certification courses such as NPTEL through AMC Swayam local chapter, Coursera courses from Stanford University, 
and ACT MHRD courses to update their knowledge. Uh, department having a professional student chapters, IEEE and IST, received Best Engineering College Award from IST in 2019, Best Student Chapter Award in 2018, Best Faculty Chapter Award in 2017, and Best Student Award consistently from last five years. Established Student Technical Club, such as Inotronics, is Innovative Electronics Lab. In Inotronics, students implement their projects, ideas, and also they do project based on application of curriculum under the guidance of faculties having in-depth knowledge of respective domain. He also conducts an in-house internship program under Inotronics Lab from 15 days to 45 days. With this note, I welcome all the participants uh, for this webinar. Once again, I thank Dr. Lakshmi uh, uh, to accepting our invitation. Welcome you, ma'am. Over to Aruna Madhu. Thank you, ma'am. Now I'll uh, talk about the speaker, Dr. Uh, D. Lakshmi. Uh, she has uh, done her PhD from the Anna University in the year of 2017. Her topic is investigation on behavioral analytical improving learning production. She has a lot of different academic position handled from the over past 20 years from the lecture post to the now education officer. And she has more than 27 international uh, conference and journal publications. And she published a book also and she conducted many FDPs, guest lectures, and our uh, lectures are there in the YouTube channels. So we welcome you, ma'am, on behalf of AMC EC Education. Uh, now I'll uh, hand over to Dr. Lakshmi, ma'am. Thank you for your introduction. Uh, good afternoon, AMC officials and uh, faculty members of AMC and all my uh, distinguished guests and uh, special invitees and uh, all my dear attendees of this session. Good afternoon. I welcome you to this uh, uh, offer a webinar session on modern tools and softwares for remote teaching learning practices or virtual learning practices. Yeah. Uh, to start with, Whatever the software I'm going to give hands-on session in this today's uh, webinar, everything is of uh, open source, freely available. So once uh, the uh, demonstration started, uh, uh, all the attendees uh, at time used to have uh, doubt on it, whether it is licensed or need to be downloaded. Uh, I wanted to set the ground road. Whatever the software I'm going to explore, it's uh, fully on online. So we may need to have stable internet. That is the primary concern. Subsequently, whatever the software I'm going to explore fully off open source or licensed. Now we are going to have few assessment software and uh, one of the LMS software in depth we are going to explore. Meanwhile, I'll be giving awareness and walkthrough of whatever the software activities, I will be walking through around 80 to 100 softwares. It's a kind of awareness only I can be able to create. So whenever I used to address this kind of software, tools and software, I used to have minimum three days of nine hours workshop, 12 hours workshop. Since it is webinar, uh, I will be deeply diving into three to four software. Rest all, I'll be creating an awareness. Among those, all the software, what are all primarily required in these circumstances, especially. Let us forget about uh, uh, the decoration of the instructional strategy or bringing innovative practices, best practices. Let us forget about it, but it's need of the aware. So those are all the software I have created already video in my YouTube channel. Nothing to worry about. Uh, even if you get stuck up with one of the steps which I am explaining, everything is already created a uh, YouTube video in my channel. In addition to that, uh, AMC Engineering College is uh, the lively telecasting on YouTube. Maybe this particular session video, you can get to know from that uh, YouTube link also for your backup references. So you can uh, relax more, you can coolly attend the session right now. Just be aware of what, be with me, sail with me. Be happy. Later on, we can explore, especially when it comes to online uh, workshops. We may not be able to explore both attending and uh, doing it. We may need to listen first. We may need to be aware of everything, capture things. Then subsequently, we can uh, sit and explore. So with that um, request, I would uh, like you all to sail with me with happily without any uh, tensions or uh, uh, frustration. Sometimes you may feel uh, that particular point may be tough. Nothing to worry. If you revisit that video, you can able to cope up. 
so online tools and software for remote teaching learning are modern tools and software anything we can say this is what uh, the today's topic of uh, discussion or agenda so to start with i wanted to moderate because varied uh, category of uh, audiences would be there so i wanted to moderate for first 20 minutes to offer our subsequently i will go to the tools and uh, software exploration why digital learning uh, uh, who made uh, to transform our uh, learning culture to digital not our principal not our management not even our government officials this covid situation made us to change the paradigm of teaching so that is the uh, reason we may all uh, be quoting but uh, global stand standard says 21st century teachers mandatory to inculcate digital technologies in their instructional strategies that is what uh, the uh, mandatory benchmark standard for the global teaching community uh, let us start with this uh, cartoon picture hi sweet father is asking how was school today uh, baby is replying you can read all about it in my blog dad so that level uh, the culture reached even a school kid started running a blog and started running a creating a post started intervening with the digital technologies that is the level of uh, uh, digital culture gone another um, uh, cartoon picture what it says is doctor shows look at your mri result half of your brain clogged with the password half of your uh, uh, brain clogged with the uh, email addresses uh, subscriptions so that level we reach every one of us we do have uh, 50 to 100 subscriptions several websites uh, portals mail ids we do create that is a, uh, a uh, what to say the era we reach a uh, psychological perspective where if we look at uh, every 10 years once people used to terminate with the uh, anthropology word or psychology word or cognitive perspective word so those who born before 60s they are termed as baby boomer generation 1 the next decade baby boomer generation 2 subsequently x generation i belong to x generation i born in 70s and then y generation z generation especially kids those who born after 2000 digital kids the name itself digital kids then we may be alien then we may need to come to their planet so that is a way we can reach them also so not only this covid situation the generation characteristics itself tend to be tuned to the uh, digital nature so 21st uh, century learners and educators need to be in tune with the technology so how the education system evolved let us have a quick um, uh, revisit. So, uh, if you look at 500 years ago, Socrates, Aristotle period, Vedic education system started. They started looking at the world. They started wondering who is the creature behind of this beautiful mountain, river, falls, etc. The flowers, uh, the fragrance. Then how people are behaving uniquely. Everyone tend to taste differently. What makes this difference? So, that kind of curiosity explode. So, out of that curiosity, mythological, psychological, philosophical view has been arised. These three have been transferred in the master disciple mode subsequently buddhist education system have brought in the arts and for performances music dance arts and other culinary activities so that is what uh, the education system transformed art is the first education arts and science very first art only started subsequently science evolved then the, when the science have come mathematics uh, also it's a twin twin of science is uh, mathematics mathematics twin applied uh, perspective is science then sage on the stage teacher have come 100 years ago 50 years ago unless otherwise teacher spells out the knowledge will not be transmitted teacher is the only transformation of the knowledge unless otherwise teacher spells out nobody can learn that was the era then immediately printing revolution started after the printing revolution independence of the teacher started reducing so independent of the teacher our self-learning is accelerated but that is not the scenario right now it's called digital era in this digital era in your palm touch everybody can seek information can gain information within a second then what would be the role of teacher the role of teacher itself changed not teaching facilitating mentoring so that two words itself, I may need to address for half an hour. So that mentoring and facilitating is the role of the teacher in this digital era. So for that, we may need to tune ourselves towards this uh, digital tools and software. Phases, when it comes to the digital education phases, starts with the curation for digital learning. The meaning of curation starts with this, like this. What is the meaning of curation? Free from intellectual mistakes whatever we are finding the material that should be free from intellectual mistakes 
from the internet or even if you prefer free from language mistakes whichever the language we teach i can't tell english is the only language you may tend to teach kannada telugu uh, tamil whatever so free from language mistakes so then last one understanding profile of the audience the prime role of the teacher is to understand the pulse of the audiences pulse of the learner what here one one small analogy i'll bring in to understand this uh, terminology what is the meaning of profile understanding understanding profile of the audience what that signifies sir? for example python we can teach for first year also second year also third year also when we start teaching python programming the first year they are all very novice learner no very fresh very new to the engineering education the way in which we facilitate the content the way in which we prepare the content course material should be different from the way in which we do for second year third year fourth year subsequently so we may need to drill deeper our foundation we may need to lay when we teach these all subjects strongly during the first year when it comes to second year we can go for high pedestrian of teaching that subject when it comes third year we may need to orient that subject towards the application towards the project product development where exactly we can do that that is what uh, the curation of the content we need to find out the material or we should prepare free from intellectual mistakes language mistakes understanding profile of the audience according to that we need to do once if it is done subsequently what we can do we can go with a uh, one minute align uh, uh, starting from here we can do communicating archiving what is the mode of communication when it becomes technical it is not whatsapp definitely we cannot put forth whatsapp as a uh, communication tool in the teaching learning practices we may need to quote uh, something branded lms cms learning management system content management system there are plenty of learning management system and content management system at the end of the workshop i'll walk through 20 to 25 softwares i will introduce very old and uh, wide popular is uh, moodle when it comes the recent uh, uh, modern uh, method google classroom edmodo these are all the two software we can say blackboard edmodo and uh, google classroom across a global perspective when it comes the recent popularity is these are all the software i will distinguish what are the difference i will walk through of these all the software subsequently we may that lms and software is the medium for communicating with our learner and archiving the content organizing the content creating the content selecting the content subsequently the same lms cms is lms stands for learning management system when it, the same software is utilized by your learner cms stands for content management system the same software is uh, used by the teacher for the content preparation so it has two phase every educational software has two phase especially amazon also has two phase one is admin phase another one is customer phase so admin what they want to do it will be done with the admin customer what could be done we can do that so evaluate evaluation is possible storing the content is possible deleting the content is possible sustaining the content is possible so these are all the phases of the digital learning let us move on to the next subsequent to the phases of the digital learning we can now uh, go with merits lot of merits we can say for every word we may need to deeply drive with the demonstration with the proof of evidence only then you may be convinced but uh, it is truth effective pedagogy is possible creativity is possible each and every software will bring in different paradigm of teaching learning practices with a different creativity collaboration is possible feedback and reflection it is possible to provide even then we are working remotely it is possible to provide so this is what uh, uh, the moment we bring in digital uh, practices it's called evidence based teaching learning practice the day which i create this pressy presentation never we can change so that is where most of the time it will become evident so it is digitally evident we may not able to manipulate or even authorities are questioning me or inspection committee questioning me overnight i cannot prepare and i cannot change the digital stamps that is why it is called digital based uh, evidence based teaching learning practices this is the merit of uh, discussion now let us go back to a widely popular framework the moment we start uh, uh, preparing educational documents for the inspections nbe or nac whatever the kind of inspections we may need to 
bring the background philosophy why we have brought this digital tools and technology for that uh, even educational research paper every uh, academician we have the privilege to write uh, educational research conduct on education and our domain specialization in order to do these all the kind of documentation research activity tpac is a widely popular framework the moment we say framework it is a kind of abstract notion it's a kind of uh, guideline it is it, it is not the product to demonstrate it's a guideline framework so this has been developed by sulman in 80s this in that term called pck those days pedagogy the me meaning of pedagogy is pedagogy peda means pediatrics kids gogi means teaching education so teaching to kids is termed as pedagogy but i am not sure across uh, india widely it is used pedagogy although we are working for uh, adults uh, category and higher education system it should become andragogy but knowingly or unknowingly widely people are using pedagogy so that is the meaning pedagogy pedagogy means art of teaching learning practices whatever we do in the teaching learning practices all together it's termed as pedagogy what we do with the pedagogy we start uh, preparing the curriculum and uh, course course content session plan evaluation rubrics etc etc we will do invigilation and we will do question paper setting and we will set course outcome so many things mentoring counseling all together a single word a term is coined it is pedagogy kogler in 2000 he have created another terminology called tpac what that suggests suggests or emphasizes every teacher must have three different knowledge technological knowledge content knowledge pedagogical knowledge what is technological knowledge in order to acquire this knowledge all of us would have spent in our lifetime minimum 3 years to 10 years if you are undergraduate student 3 to 4 years post graduation student 7 years technical knowledge what is the meaning you may be mba specialized uh, faculty or you may be commerce special, specialized faculty economics or engineering or arts and science or language or uh, literature whatever so you would have spent minimum 6 years to 10 years if you are doctorate degree minimum 15 years also you would have spent in order to acquire that single knowledge alone subsequently it may take minimum 1 or 2 years to acquire the pedagogical knowledge because in india there is no pedagogical knowledge is provided in terms of degree after specialization with our own uh, domain immediately we are appointed as a teacher including medicinal practitioners and law practitioners except ba teachers ba teachers have got a little bit exposure towards art of teaching learning it is mandatory to bring brain psychology and uh, people psychology also adult psychology also these two are mandatory to become a uh, uh, much more a qualified teacher so that is missing in indian component now we are coming for sorry content knowledge we acquired in 10 years pedagogical knowledge within 2 years then technological knowledge now because of this lockdown whether we want it or not it is mandatory to acquire this knowledge that for this knowledge only we are all here so quickly i will walk through content knowledge so horizon depth and breadth of the subject i will uh, share this uh, slide subsequently you can walk through uh, what is the meaning of pedagogical content knowledge how good example we are bringing how good analogy we are bringing when we articulate how creative examples how we are connecting with applications how we are delivering the knowledge of uh, the particular uh, content matter art of explanation all together it is termed as pedagogical content knowledge subsequently pedagogical knowledge it's all to the content preparation creating experience learning experience for our student create, giving reflection giving closure and reflection is vital role being a teacher so indicating this is what you are wrong how it is wrong why it is wrong how they need to improve if you give answers for these three question every learner will get motivated they will understand and realize much more better than what they are now action evaluation context creation all together is termed as pedagogical knowledge technological knowledge so knowledge about software and knowledge about gadgets there are several gadget tab mobile and so many gadgets are available recent days in order to bring the pedagogical experience or learning experience now let us go back to the next phase types of digital learning widely digital learning is categorized into flipped learning blended learning e learning and m learning west started completely transforming their education towards flipped learning partially with blended learning not like a conventional learning happens in most of the modern universities or established universities well established universities 
what is flipped learning i'll touch upon a little but mostly i have covered elaborated way in my youtube channel if you wish at the end i'll be sharing in the chat box or in the qa section whatever you can keep watching for further knowledge <laughs> in our traditional teaching learning teacher is most of the time in the transformation of the knowledge she or he will be performing on stage students or put it in the passive mode passive listener there is no activity we will flip all the assignment product development project development to the home activity offline activity that is where the plagiarism starts that is where learning quality is deteriorated in order to overcome that this flipped learning is uh, compensated how it is teacher may need to create a material in terms of videos or text material or combination of two that needs to be archived in the lms that students need to sit and learn by their self post self paced manner when they contact with the teacher or instructor they may need to involve with learning activities kind of uh, brainstorming activity or kind of uh, clarifying their doubts or assessment activity either formative assessment summative assessment project assignments they need to do assignment in the class not at the home especially then project product development document review i have discussed about how we can take care of flipped classroom in the classroom environment you can walk through that video so that is what flipped learning suggest this is the keyword or this is the framework established by salman khan uh, he is the founder of khan academy he have come out with this framework model recently 2016 but it became wide popular for his khan academy business it's a online platform educational platform for that he have created a philosophy that became popular in 2016 mef university istanbul is the first university adapted this practice and published a lot of white papers on it so this is what uh, the brief introduction about uh, flipped learning what is blended learning exactly uh, in order to understand blended learning right now what we are doing is blended learning half of the semester happened in the face to face education rest of the semester we are doing with virtual uh, in our institution we have started the next semester also without even uh, that examination worries we started already almost one unit i have covered i am moving on to second unit from next week onwards so what is blended learning it's a combination of face to face and online what is the proportion if you ask question there is no proportion it's merely depending upon the nature of the teacher or characteristics of the teacher characteristics of the learner availability of the infrastructure and what is the nature of the subject you teach depending upon that you can fix the proportion how much we need to give for face to face interaction how much we need to give for online interaction so let us walk through this a sample snapshot i have brought face to face training virtual classroom webinar providing links online links simulations online simulations assessment one on one coach if we mix all together it's termed as blended learning so next m learning and uh, uh, e learning nothing to talk about if you are using electronic devices it becomes e learning if you use mobile device for the teaching learning practice it becomes m learning nothing more in it so let us move on to art of online teaching most of us may be you know, doing this online practices or video making in the recent time uh, not even bit before this situation so that uh, these all the tips will bring al although you do better these all the kind of conscious awareness so uh, just i am going to walk through if you wish you can take few of the point otherwise you can uh, do with your own style and strategies pre planning is essential for the best quality and outcome define and communicate the minimum tech requirement installation or setup and login procedures to our students also we need to create a, a miniature manual for when, whenever we introduce a new software tone has a tremendous impact in online education so we should have relaxed way of conversation and rather than formal way of talking conversational tone it should become like a friendly conversation that gives lot of uh, enthusiasm for listeners warmer atmosphere then foster a sense of uh, community or connectivity how to foster that sense i'll discuss little bit later natural engagement is to be considered then content and learning objectives we need to set the, then how to uh, plan for interactive segment we should have sometimes it, uh, it it comes so instantaneous sometimes we may need to plan at what interjection we may need to go for interactive segment then how to grab attention whenever we create youtube video 
whenever we create a, a online session also we need to pay attention wow factor concentration need to be given for first 5 minutes within that 5 minutes if we retain our audience they will be continuing with us otherwise they will withdraw if it is video then if you are targeting about societal aspect i am telling within 5 minutes if we don't create wow factor they will uh, walk out of that our youtube channel and they will uh, go for somebody channel so first uh, grabbing the attention we can start with the learning objective our application we can start with the example our analogy our learning motivation we can give our starting with the visuals and animation and demonstrating certain product showing showcasing the real time products something like that we can start with in order to sustain the interest of audiences so this is what rather than con uh, formal language we may need to use uh, conversational then as much as possible uh, multimedia instruction is uh, appreciated subsequently what gestures maximum although it's such a lot of internet bandwidth always giving visual cues will give lot of uh, excitement we may need to appear so that we may need to increase our confidence and dressing style and expressions everything so always we may need to give immediacy immediacy means in order to you should know this we should know this we can use we we will give more connectivity than you and i separation as us and we these are all the word will give better connectivity then avoiding filler words um okay uh, then uh, so is it something like that like then like like so many time people will use exactly there is a need of like word will come then people may miss out that so avoiding filler words impact of the video comes 7% only from the words the vocabulary skill or articulation skill 38% comes from the tone of the voice neither it should be too low nor it should be too high if it is too low a lot of cognitive effort the students need to put if it is too high they may feel a disturbance in their brain so that it should become optimum uh, kind of tone 55% comes from non verbal communication that is why i am telling our appearance is mandatory even when we create video when we go for online interaction uh, if we uh, conduct classes without our appearance that the way of expression they may be missing so the weightage of the articles and the exploration uh, based on research reading article only i have formulated this sentence they say that 55% comes from non verbal communication then confidence level energy level when energy level comes when we are well dressed and when we are cool in our mood without any conflict with our environment so all together will give lot of enthusiasm so look at the camera during the session that is what uh, the another tip this is again uh, how to prepare the index slide alone it is mentioned already so anyway i have brought for the continuity so next is um, we are going with the rest of the point getting straight to the point instead of creating lot of dilutions and uh, whenever we feel like a uh, coughing sneezing uh, instead of uh, doing that all instantaneously over the mic we can apply pass button then we can sneeze and go that all will give a little bit good decent uh, projection of our self brand that's all nothing more interact with uh, your students through text mode audio mode video mode at times so they will feel recognized so that they will sustain with us otherwise always most of the time the online uh, compliant is they are logging in they are away from their gadget so just for name sake they are logging in internet only listening the session not the human so allow for time lag if at all they come little bit late instead of holding we can give some motivational a kind encouraging word or indirect message we can give because it is digitally recorded we also need to be careful we need to consider chat window so that gives uh, the kind of recognition that uh, we are considering their opinion then interjection every 15 minutes once we may need to break the passive way of listening somehow creating polls this is one way finally practice then uh the speed of articulation what they say is within a minute 140 to 150 words it should be two less than 100 words it should be it should not be greater than 140 words so people grasping power uh, uh, is uh, is is need to be considered so in order to uh, focus on the grasping power of the learner every articulator expected to use 140 to 150 words neither should be too low it will be dragging like they may feel finally to end with the lecture video lecture or online session abruptly we should not complete it so what we can do we can outline the slide or summarize then what we can do we can end with multiple choice question or we can end with open ended question to come out with answer after a day and uh, 
we can create a good question. For example, we may be uh, teaching Ohm's law. Then efficiency calculation, you go and look at your uh, Mixi uh, configuration and their uh, manual, then come out with the efficiency of your Mixi and calculate it and tell me. Like that, we can connect. Then what else we can do? Quality textbook, we can suggest with the page number where, where to where they can study. And we can recommend some online URLs and YouTubes for their uh, further exploration or for continuity or uh, momentum with your teaching. Then set of problems to be solved we can give. These are all the way we can uh, end the session or close the note. So with that, we can um, come back to the tools and software exploration. Finally, how to choose a software? There are plenty of software available. Normally, I don't touch upon this slide. Let it be. Technological design, content design, learning design. Apart from that, whether it is free or not, we need to ensure. Because as per Indian uh, uh, salary, which is paid for the teacher's community, is not up to the mark. Maybe government body, I can say, they are getting a well package, not the private body. So we may not be able to afford uh, in uh, subscribing the softwares. We may need to find out uh, only open source software for our survival. So uh, how the learning design, it's a learning, learner content interaction, learner, learner interaction, learner teacher interaction, content design, what kind of content it permits, whether it permits reading material, audio clip, video clip, animation, simulation, etc. All those things we need to consider. Then scalability. Scalability means uh, how many participants or how many um, learner can be approved in that particular software. This all the minimum consideration for selecting the software with that we close this is the software it's called presentation software a modern presentation software Prezi. so this how to create such kind of presentation is also I have discussed in my youtube channel if you wish you can explore this uh, most of the time uh, i used to use this Prezi software there are two reasons one is if i use uh, microsoft powerpoint in video making in the zoom software or teaching class also whatever so it will uh, create a black color thumb bar, only three by fourth of the screen is occupied by our presentation. So the rest one by fourth of the screen will have this. Then we should have the video editing software in order to spread out that uh, content. While spreading also sometimes the quality will be deteriorated. Whenever students tend to watch our video on their mobile device, then our uh, textual information will become very miniature. So three by fourth of their mobile only occupied. So the cognitive load which they need to apply the fatigue will become more while they listen to the video, they read the slide of our presentation. So in order to overcome that, I used this Prezi because it has a lot of dynamics to see every element I can focus on. This element, if I project, it will come out. So I can talk about that element. So this uh, dynamic presentation is not possible with PowerPoint. It's a static presentation. It's a non-linear and also it is a dynamic presentation. So that is the advantage of, but in order to use this, we may need to have internet. That is only prime consideration. Let us start with the very first software, Google Form. I always, this is the way I will go. Why Google Form? It is useful for, I will list out uh, the use of Google Form on this, uh, our college uh, institution account so far, so let it be. Number one, what are all the advantage? Number one, it is possible to set MCQ. Number two, it is possible to set up subject to type question also we can do. At the earlier one, MCQ auto evaluation is possible, substitutive question, teacher need to evaluate. Assignment submission is possible. And data collection is possible. We can do data collection through this software. Through this uh, Google form only, recently all the webinar FTP registration is happening. Otherwise, it is very tough. So earlier, well ahead, maybe two years ago itself, we started using Google form for the registrations, uh, whatever we do. So data collection, then subsequently what we can do is even math equation we can do. And uh, it is useful for vernacular language, Tamil, English, Canada, like a teachers, a French teacher. You can set a Google form in your uh, specified language, which you want. I will do the demonstration for this all. And beyond that, it is useful for polling. You can ask uh, at the end of the session, how is uh, the style of the instructor, instructor presentation? Do you feel this workshop is uh, uh, useful for you? Something like that. So that kind of thing we can do. Then survey. 
across the globe also we can sit here and we can conduct survey recently through google form people started questioning about covid situation the psychological state of the people and economical state of the people how the mindset of each and every one uh, they are sitting at and work from home um, how do they feel difficulty or advantage some kind of survey is happening people started publishing lot of papers on it so we can conduct survey also with this google form no need to spend pen and paper uh, survey monkey there is plenty of software with that all you may need to pay so with the google form you can do for uh, uh, better so what is the advantage it has uh, 1 million 1 million user it will allow there is no limitation then it is working on cloud any google product we will uh, work scalability is more what is the scalability is hit at a time uh, more than 1000 people tries to access your google form it will withstand because it's a google product so that is a major advantage of uh, all the google product g suit google suit itself a big umbrella google created for all the online uh, kind of teaching learning practices Ev uh, almost every software uh, uh, what is the intervention record for every intervention it has a software we may that alone i used to conduct for a couple of days google uh, g suit alone so that that many tools and software available google form now let us move on to one minute how to create a google form some of us may be aware because it's a varied audiences i may need to cover everyone we need to look at this nine dot this nine dots are uh, termed as a powerful location of gmail we may not explore this nine dot this nine dot is the highest power of the google software it's like how the planet earth is ruled by the entire nine other planet it is it is like that so if we look at there are plenty of apps available we need to google classroom is also available jamboard is one of the useful software slides sheets so many handouts now we need to click this triangle the triangle is google drive most of us would have used this triangle for your file upload and uh, uh, what to say any other document need to be uploaded this google drive has 10 gb minimum capacity if you want we can upgrade and this uh, whatever the important document if you bring it here then uh, wherever you go 24 cross 7 you can access some of the faculty used to ask question if it is our my patent and uh, what to say my uh, research article should i keep uh, will it uh, give privacy or will it uh, safeguard my idea that point i am not sure so how much uh, the information is stolen what is a, a data ethical constraint or data security they have these are all the question i am not uh, uh, ready for answering if you feel your idea need to be preserved uh, better not to upload here all other uh, interventions our course material what we have brought newly to this world whom our inventor that we are cooking up and tailoring the content all those things your stuff your resume some important uh, files and uh, facts you can keep it here now if you look at the top left corner there is a button called new if you click that new file upload is for uploading the file folder upload is for uploading the folder zip folder rar folder google doc is for i will show 5 minutes of demonstration google doc since we are all working operating independently if three of you are collaborating together for research publication or course material preparation there are two section you both of you can collaborate you can create remotely this document recently data science course curriculum a team i am heading with a team then i need to prepare a btech uh, data analytics course curriculum we are all sitting apart so we will fix a zoom meeting and we work on the same google doc i will propose one course my teammate will be deleting that not accepting another member will be proposing new course things are happening collaboratively if we do microsoft word it is very tough so th this is equivalent to microsoft word it has certain features differently collaborative documentation preparation activity we can use this so even students you can understand this all the benefit because uh, sometime you may need to submit a project report or laboratory report you can work remotely with your friends uh, with the cell so it's a, it's in the cloud platform in a minute uh, we can collect uh, data from the participant collaborative data collection sheet i can say google slide it is for slide preparation again collaborative tool now we need to click more when we come to more this google form is useful for google form preparation i'll just give you the tip home over computer science uh, background for you this google collab collaboratory would be useful to do python program 
R program, Julia program, data analytics projects without even downloading any software. With the internet, you can work here. No need to download any software if you don't have good uh, memory capacity or whatever. Then you can do all the deep learning project, especially deep learning project. Don't try it to your computer. It will heat up a lot. Then a hardware failure definitely may cause at any point of time. So always to work with the Google collaborator for your deep learning projects. Let me click Google form. We are reaching Google form here. We reach it. This is how it will appear in the beginning. We need to rename it AMC demo. So here also, if we click the same, it will appear. If we wish, we can retain or we can change. I can change name, title of the form different as name of the form. So I can here, I can give demonstration. See, nothing is getting affected. Demonstration. So for you, sometimes this email address may come, may not come. I will show you how to bring this automatically. There is a button. That with that we can learn this. Now, very first question. I'm going to click say untitled question is there. So I need to click this. For simplicity, I used to give this, which is fruit. In this below list, which is fruit is the question. So this is what the question I'm creating because you may need to give your attention for learning the software, not on the content. So that's simple question. See what we are going to learn in this Google form, simple. These are all the portion we may need to be thorough on it. That's all. So this is one segment. This is another segment. This is another segment. That's it. You are versatile with the Google form. Top side. Top side, if you are not able to see, let me uh, put off my video for a while. Then you can able to see that. This is the another segment. Beyond that all segment, one more is there. What is this? Is this segment. So if you click, you will have pop-up menu. This pop-up menu, whatever has this, we should be aware of these four. One, two, three, four. That's it. These four, if you are thorough enough, we are ultimately master on Google form. That's it. Now let us uh, move back to the question. If we look at this is the question, which is fruit that shows singular and only one answer is available for this question. So I need to click this multiple choice. I need to choose this round button is termed as radio button. This is meant for single selection. This check boxes is termed as a, a multiple selection box so that we need to prefer this. If the question has only one answer, we need to prefer this multiple choice. Let me type a choice tree, apple, lotus, peacock some four answers i'm picking the right answer is apple i will uh, explain how to set the right answer little bit later after a few uh, the entire customization after exploration we will be uh, going for setting the right answer now this is over now coming to here we need to always toggle on record it is mandatory if we don't toggle on record uh, students tend to purposely or unconsciously they may tend to skip the question so that any section any part if you are expecting mandatory from re from respondent you need to toggle on this triple dot we need to click shuffle option order what does it mean this question answers would become different order for each and every student it will shuffle the combinations so first person would be getting lotus roll number two would be getting peacock first something like that <coughs> now for the question itself we can create image if we click this image button I'm going to upload some image which is available on my desktop. One minute, I'll scroll and find out some image. There is an image chart I used to keep. One minute, I'll find out. Is I don't know. Yeah, chart too. Something else, if it is my personal, if I would have brought wrong. The image is getting loaded. We can set the question paper with the image with the text also. That is the primary purpose of including image in the question. I am just showing you the demonstration purpose. Whereas when we really we are setting a question, we may need to come out with a particular image and we need to upload. Subsequently, for the answer also, we can set the image. Say, for example, peacock I'm going to set. Not exactly peacock, some other picture I'm going to say, Women's Day greeting I'm going to bring. 
browse image i need to pick one minute Yeah, something cool text is there. Let me bring that image. <coughs> this is the image available on my desk so that I have brought. When it comes to subject matter, appropriate thing we need to do. That's all. These are all the minimal feature available for every question setting. Now let us move on to how to set the next question. So we need to click somewhere within the part of this question or answer. We need to go back to this plus button. If we uh, just a gentle navigation or hovering, if you do automatically, it will display the tooltip, add question. So now we are going to click this so that I have come out with a new question. So the second one is to import questions from yet another Google form. Never I tried that. No need to worry of that. Now this is for title and description creation. What is title and description is like this. Then and there, if you want to give some title and description, this part. See, this description I have not written. If you want, uh, you can write anything. I have a lot of uh, Google forms I'll show you. See, this is the Google form. What This is the Google form. See, lot of description lot of articulation have been done. So this is the kind of uh, articulation we can do in the description section. See, simply I'm going to copy paste this content here because instead of typing, which is available with me existing, so I'm copying pasting. So this header information is ready. Our description is ready. So the third one is image. Between uh, two questions, we can create image. Between two questions, we can create a what to say, the YouTube video. What is the purpose when it comes to educational intervention? Either we can treat it as a decoration purpose or we can bring some architectural diagram. Let your student learn that architectural diagram. Subsequently, you can set a question. Learning and participation is not a sinful activity. So we can do for the kind of cues we can give through image and let them look at the image and take the decision for answering the question. Similarly, during the Google form design, we can bring YouTube videos also. What that signifies? Students are expected to watch the video. Subsequently, they need to answer for the following questions. So the kind of learning activity, we can bring this on. Now, the last one is add sections. These are all the possible. I will be walking through one by one nothing to worry. I'm just giving the awareness here. So now we are going for the second question, which are four wheelers. So I'm just, uh, the question itself says plural. It has, uh, which are four wheeler. The question itself says plural. It has more than one answer. I'm going to give Scooty as first, then BMW. Then the second answer is TVS 50. Third answer, the final answer is Rolls Royce. So these are all the options I'm giving. So among these four BMW, Rolls Royce are the right answer. How to set, let us see later. Since this question has two answers, I need to click this. I need to choose check boxes. Required, I need to toggle on. Triple dot, I need to give shuffle option order. If you wish. These are all the minimum requirement we need to take care of uh, when it comes multiple, more than one answer or multiple answer section. Now this is over. Now these two concepts we have discussed. Now I'm going to create, instead of this AMC demonstration, this is the section called MCQ section. A clarity I'm going to bring. I'm going to delete this all stuff. I'm, I have created two MCQs description. Now I'm this section is having like this. Now I'm going for next. This one. Uh, sorry, this one. Add a section. Last one. Add section. See, you look at this. Now section is divided. Earlier it was not there. Section 1 of 2 is MCQ. Section all uh, opportunities of the Google form I'm going to demonstrate in a single Google form so that I'm creating section. It is for subjective type. Questions. I'm going to set two questions in it. So this description, you can set this is belong to unit two, stats and cues, some name of the topic you can bring. That's all. Now section is over. We are going for plus button for the question creation. What is the difference between two phase and single phase motor? Something like that. Your relevant question, whatever in your curriculum has, has you can do. Now I'm setting the question, what is the difference between uh, two-phase and single-phase motor? 
for single phase and uh, two phase motor i'm clicking this this is subjective type we need to choose short answer or paragraph short answer is for within 250 characters if you are expecting longer answer we may need to put in terms of paragraph let me click short answer temporarily recovered nothing more we need to do here plus question next question do you use any teaching learning practices tool before this workshop which are some questions i'm going to create so click this paragraph the moment i am creating paragraph means i am permitting lot of information need to be articulated by the student it won't signify anything we need to choose this required now over we are going to click this plus button this plus button the moment i click it will create new section the moment we get new section we can proceed with thematic option that is the difference uh, between these all i i just um, bring my youtube and uh, i bring some of the videos because video incorporation if i want to do i need to choose some video link before even coming to the google form so that i am opening this uh, video let it be now let us go back to the google form we have come now how to create a image between these two question is the discussion so there is a question so here i can bring a relevant picture irrelevant picture whatever but the demonstration purpose i need to click this image earlier we were clicking near to the question this image button we have clicked now it is different the scenario is different now i am going to click this image browse cool text or whatever the image chart is available in my desktop let me choose a chart so i am clicking this chart now this particular image is going to be incorporated between two questions see this question i used to bring some emojis hi guys i used to tell so for this image we can give any title it's a chart activity chart activity for chant that's all so this is over similarly if you want to bring see uh, i want to change the question order nothing to worry we have whatever comes in your thought process you can do this six dot would be available see i am dragging and dropping wherever we want we can drag and drop similarly come and look at here my second question is which are four wheeler my first question is which is fruit what i am going to do i am going to change interchange the order of the question it is possible a simple drag and drop that's all nothing to worry about the order you no need to delete similarly if you have question with answer already you just copy all the four answer if you fill automatically it is loading it is filled with this all the four button and if you have question copy paste here already in word form or internet if you are taking cop uh, copying question and answer you can copy the question you can paste here all the four answers you can copy and uh, just uh, clicking here and if you paste all the four will be loaded if it is line by line not in the horizontal if it is already in the vertical uh, one by one order then if we copy paste all the four option or five option here it will be loaded easily now the drag and drop option is over now how to include the video for example after this i want to include video or very beginning itself i want to give some video what i supposed to do i need to click this youtube this button after clicking that youtube button i need to copy paste the video some video from the internet which you want to recommend to your student come back click this url after the url paste the url it will be loaded the moment it is loaded with that thumbnail after that we need to click select then see here we can uh, guys watch this video and answer the following we can write that's all student used to watch your video what is recommended here then they will be auto save nothing to save with the google form when we are working on the online platforms never we need to worry of saving see all changes are saved any tiny change if i attempt also it will uh, do auto save never i save the google form where it is saved it is saved in the google drive i'll show how to get back your google form subsequently now this is over now we are going for drop down box for example this is the section we are uh, this is subjective type this is other stuff i'm going to write just other stuff now plus button 
this plus button is first department or state wise whenever we are conducting workshop we need to give state list otherwise everybody tend to give uh, karnataka small letter they will give karnataka capital letter will, they will give then capitalized uh, first capitalized word they used to give. When you want to segregate, it is very tedious, manual process we need to do. When, if it is done, all the similar state will sit together in the Google form when we download, then segregation would become easier. For that, we need to give drop down. The drop down box is for CSC, English, then maths, then people will be picking which department they belong to. So we no need to worry of uh, the different combinations of writing. This triply alone, people used to write triply small capital, all combinations. Then when you want to segregate all the triply teachers, it would become very tedious process for you, manual task. So that we need to give drop down box whenever you are expecting for grouping the people. Normally for the online webinar, people are grouping based on st state wise for the, uh, what to say, consolidation report writing. When it becomes department, then department wise, we need to segregate which department is actively participating in this webinar. If you want to find out or who are all the kind of audiences uh, have come for our webinar, then we can uh, put forth the department. Record, always we should remember it's a mantra, record is mandatory, otherwise people will skip. Then plus button. Now what we are going to discuss here is assignment upload or else I can give new section also. Let me put a new section. This I'm going to delete. Simply press this delete button. Whatever we want to delete, it is very easy. Now, upload unit one assignment I'm giving here. Now what I'm, I can do, section is over. Now plus button. What is the unit one introduction to Python? Now we need to click this. We need to choose file upload. We have walked through these all five options. Now we are going to next option, file upload. Now it gives some policy, privacy policies. Just read it and go and continue. If you wish. So next, if, if you are not specific about what file you are expecting, don't uh, operate on this button. Otherwise just toggle on C. Drawing, presentation, document, spreadsheet what we are expecting we are particular about it we need to choose this button we need to toggle on i'm expecting only image file from my student i'm expecting both presentation and image i'm expecting video also whatever if we are expecting particular type of resource then we need to click otherwise just give you open choice and you can give here submit it in the form of either document or pdf you can articulate here submit your assignment in the form of pdf and uh, doc that is another option now if we are expecting more than one file, we need to change it as five. If you are expecting more than five file, we need to change it as 10. If we are expecting only one file, just put it one. That's all. Then video file, if you are giving one GB, you can give. If you wish, you can give one GB. Otherwise, 10 MB. All the Zoom recorded video comes in MBs only. Even two hours video I have downloaded with 80 MB or 90 MB only. So that, that is sufficient. Zoom with the But if they are creating video with their mobile, then it is, takes a lot of MBs or GBs. So always it is advised to pick a software which reduces the uh, consumption of the memory while creating a video, especially Zoom is appreciating software for video creation. Zoom is not only for uh, virtual uh, interaction, it is also meant for video creation. We can make use of that for the lesser memory space required. This is over. Now we are going to look at another kind of thing, then plus button, rating, rate my workshop. So we need to click this. Linear scale, sometimes automatically it customizes based on the keyword which we give. So linear scale, we have come to linear scale. So here it gives a privilege to change the lower limit, either zero or one, whichever we wish we can do. Normally zero is better Then five, five to 10. Likert scale recommends minimum five, but if, if you wish you can increase up to 10, whatever your choice. Now we need to give, one stands for low, or one stands for poor for this workshop. Five stands for excellent. Now it's your choice, no? Some of the form will be telling that one is for excellent. Some of the form would be recommending that five is for poor. That range you need to mention. Then you may question, what is the meaning of two? 
three, five. It's a simple. See, when you are telling one for poor, if you rate me two, I'm not too poor, much better than poor. That is the meaning. If you rate me four, I'm not excellent, but it may be good or very good. So that is the interpretation we need to take. Uh, uh, Google form permits only for upper limit and uh, lower limit to be defined. That's all required. Now this is over. Now what else uh, is pending? Multiple choice question. So click the plus button. So it's a kind of, uh, 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 I'll just uh, try one question. CM and PM, something or capital, state and capital for temporary state and capital question. So what I need to click, click here, multiple choice grid. We need to choose this option. Now I'm going to give here Karnataka. I'm going to give Chennai because it should be zigzag, no? Choose. Students need to choose the right one, Chennai. Next I'm going to give Tamil Nadu. I'm going to give here Hyderabad. Next I'm going to give here Telangana. Here I'm going to give here Bangalore. That's all you can keep on adding. See, add row, add column, do 10 also, 20 also choices yours. For demonstration, this is sufficient. Record. Always we need to give record. So what are all the possible thing we can do with the Google form? I have explained so far now. These all, except this tick box grid, I don't use. Sir. So rest all, whatever um, is uh, possible with the Google form, everything explained, but don't use everything. What you require for your uh, circumstances, you can use that. Now, these all those tips also explain. These all the possible options also we have explained. Now, the, this, this section also over, only one more section. We are going to the top. After this section, I'll come back to how to plug in mathematical equations because most of you are struggling how to set mathematical equation in the assessment, assessment form. Even for students also how to create mathematical equations, I will explain you with another software, Code Cops. We need to couple these two software together. Then subsequently, vernacular language, maybe Kannada teaching teacher may be available, Telugu teaching teacher may be available, French. So how to create a Google form with that kind of vernacular language, that is the final discussion. So after that, we move on to yet another software. See, very first to one, this is called customized theme, decorating the Google form. This is for preview. Let me click this. So what is a decoration? Just see how it is looking now. Very simple. If I want to decorate, let me show you how I am decorating choose an image click choose an image there are plenty of images available already we can pick from this just to walk through all the images these are all the options walk through all the images and you can click the image whichever you want i'm going to choose butterfly just for fun i'm going to choose this relevant to your theme you can choose so over now this form is embedded with butterfly see look at this this is the image customized by ourselves so these are all the softwares brought in, the logos brought in, but uh, see, half of the portion is cropped because the height and width, we need to be very careful when we're creating a picture by ourselves. Don't take risk, too much risk. So the, if you want to bring your institution logo and your name of the institution, you create a small compact image and crop that and upload. It is possible then. But larger width, larger height, if you are doing height larger, width larger, then uh, you, will, you may lose... Uh, uh, certain information so that ready-made if you wish you can give now subsequent to this see section is color i don't like i like this color so i can change or i like this color i like this color so which color you want you can prefer similarly background color see very pale i i want white i can apply dark pink i can apply a light pink, pale pink, I can apply whichever we want. So this is called decoration. Similarly, font. So far now, Google has only four font. Playful, I used to like most of the time than basic. These two don't choose. It won't give even readability. So playful. So this playful looks a little bit better. Maybe they may be bringing all the font style shortly. For them, no matter. Overnight, they can bring all the uh, font style, but I don't know why they are uh, restricting. Now, coming to this preview, how it would look for your student or the respondent. For that, we can walk through. We can become a trial entry for this Google form for that. Otherwise, it is not required. Now, this chakra like button, it is called setting. Please pay your attention. This chakra button is the prime button of Google form. However, you are beautiful in decorating the questions. We may need to be careful here. Let us click this chakra button. It will create three tabs. So, these tabs we need to pay attention. General. 
collect email address. I have already toggled on. That's why the moment I open the Google form, it is telling enter the email address. We no need to sit and write, please enter your email address. Automatically it will be done. Now respond recipients always. That means whatever uh, yeah, uh, the response we are giving now, uh, uh, send me the response back. One option will be there. Send me back bottom of the Google form. What is meaning is whatever you have filled for that particular conference or a webinar, that the filled form will be coming back to our uh, Gmail for that. If at all request means that always means everybody you are giving granted. Limit to one response. That means from one mail ID, only one entry only can be given. If you are not giving this limit to one response, what will happen? From the same mail ID, people will be kept on entry because they are not having remembering recent day what they are attending, what they are registering for. So much avenues have come after this lockdown. So that it will, then the entry will become more. You will think the 250 participants have registered, but a duplication entry would be there. So always we need to put that uh, toggled on so that uh, multiple or duplicate entry will not be permitted. Edit after submit. Choice is yours. Power failure may come. Internet failure may come. After submission, if they want to, if you are permitting edit, if for question, if, if it is for students, we may need, no need to give this. Uh, if it is for public uh, participation, registration form, we must give. Because uh, sometimes while typing, they may commit to mistake. Their name itself, they may commit to mistake. Then if we don't toggle on this option, their name will become wrong. After certificate issue, they will come and fight with us. So that this uh, edit after submit option, if we give, then they no need to fill once again. I'm attend for the uh, wrong, uh, wrong mistake, verified list like that. Why they are doing instead of this option, they would have provided same Google form. We can go and uh, re-edit. We can change our mistakes, whatever department mistake or uh, college name mistake or state name mistake, whatever the mistake we are committing, we can edit. So that is the scope for correction. See summary and the text responses for uh, survey is not required. For students, they need to see the summary chart and responses, which question they went wrong, which question they went right. So even if you conduct online exams, a test for the certificate issue, for that it is mandatory. Then uh, memory portion, we no need to worry. One GB, leave it. Then let us come back to second. Every time we can say we can come back, but I used to do all at a time. All the three tabs I will be doing at a time, presentation. When it comes present presentation, show progress bar. Every question you want to show the progress of a student, you can show. Otherwise, you can leave. But this is mandatory. Shuffle question order means only for student, not for a public registration form. Students, what is the meaning is shuffle question order. First question would become 10th question for the role number one. 10th question would be first question for the role number two. How? There in the Google form, I was explaining answer shuffle order. This is for entire question shuffling order. If the teacher sets 10 questions, every student would be getting different combinations of questions in the order when they participate. So that, that avoidance of copying, shuffle answer, shuffle question. These two, if you put no, it is not possible for copying pasting. They may need to at least brainstorm further. This is the question. They may be at least articulating. What is the answer? Something like that. Now, Confirmation message. Whenever uh, people are sending Google form, even for webinar conference, no, uh, they don't give anything confirmation message. Then we may feel whether it is submitted or not. If you give, thank you for registering. If at all student, thank you for participation or thank you for taking part in this MC2, something. After submitting that button, form submission, they will get this acknowledgement. So it's a kind of good practice, that's all. Let us come back to quizzes. This is much more important. There is a sanitizer vehicle moving on one minute. Make this a quiz. If this button is toggled on, only then we can say it. one minute.
sorry i have muted <laughs> the question q a section question is madam can we have students feedback using google form exactly that is the purpose of prime purpose of this google form nac and nba alumni feedback we need to get if you know where your student is working your student may be working in texas or chennai or bangalore or hyderabad or pune or canada somewhere your students would be working you should know where your student is working you can send your google form let him fill that you can showcase for the nb and nat nowadays things are becoming very simple 10 years ago if you want to get alumni feedback where you will go and get very tough but a recent day it is possible so that is yeah audible uh, audio is passed now now i think uh, could be able to remember uh, means uh, hear me because earlier uh, uh, there is a vehicle passing on uh, nearby me it was uh, creating lot of noise yeah fine fantastic thank you i am able to hear yeah now quizzes makes this quiz this is mandatory if we toggle on this button only then right answer mark we can set for each question so that's what the demonstration next to goes google form not yet completed you do it may take another half an hour i guess so after these all three tabs and uh, relevant uh, application we need to click mandatorily save after this save here here is the only point we will uh, do save please uh, pay your attention so this save never i i pronounce the button called save so no save is over now see look at the moment i click the first question which are all four wheeler answer key has come now only answer key has come earlier it was not there earlier the way i was demonstrating the google form it was not there it has come just recently after that uh, settings in the quiz uh, button now let us go back to how to set answer key click this answer key for this question bmw rolls royce these are all the right answer i am choosing so that green color button this question is very tough by default it would be to zero for you i have changed the default to 2 now this question is very tough i want to give 10 marks so 10 what what i mean to say here every question we have the privilege to customize the mark no need to give uniform mark although it is mcq there are very few mcq would become simple other mcqs would become in the higher uh, pedestrian of bloom's taxonomy so why you are giving same mark for all the mcq board of a student so you yourself mention the mark for the higher category whichever uh, takes lot of cognitive processing you set a higher mark whichever is a rudimentary level of question set a one mark two mark three mark that's a reason i am emphasizing that now add answer feedback so this is the part once again i request you to pay your attention option click this what is the meaning incorrect answer especially this is called closure and reflection every teacher need to give where they are wrong why they are wrong how they need to improve that is a prime duty of the teacher during the evaluation for that incorrect question answer hey guy you idiot uh, you you made wrong answer that we should not give we can give refer this youtube please refer this watch video or read the material if you know the exact answer definition we can copy paste that that kind of thing we can give that is a kind of clue we are giving although they are wrong they are we are making our student to learn better at the end of the participation middle it won't come so please refer the following you can give speaking and typing won't work brain so now i am clicking this youtube video already i have that link click url paste what i mean to say to my student in order to learn this concept better please watch the video or you can uh, paste simply you can paste uh, the definition of uh, the particular question which you have coined or else click this link learn from this website exact answer for that question we need to open the web page that web page we can give now i am for demonstration i am giving w3schools.com just like that i am typing save over correct answer what else we can do yes congratulation wow you are great hore you are right something like that. if you wish you right otherwise it's not required especially we may need to care for those who are all wrong with that question so save now over see 
all the recommendation these all will be shown only to the teacher don't worry the, who is the owner of the google form this is called owner for this google form i am the owner then this entire google form for the student this portion will not come answer also will not come this for a teacher for the auto evaluation this is the holistic picture now we are coming back to the question which is fruit i need to click answer key apple then green color this is very simple question i want to give one mark yes fine or 10 mark now add answer feedback if you wish and one more thing i am going to tell no need to even give this add answer feedback for every question at least for the question which is really useful gate questions or higher pedestrian question higher levels of bloom's taxonomic questions give them some or complex question give them some clue give them some uh, cues for their betterment of learning so this question is simple i don't want to give if i wish i can give so that is the choice or freedom we have that is the beauty of google product it want to make compulsory for all the feature if you go to moodle it will make compulsory for everything so this google product will now will give full of freedom for you teacher choice choice i want to give clue for my student only for the tough questions fine fantastic why to sit and waste your time for every question giving this feedback that's it that is a, every time we need to click done yeah here also i have clicked done that is why 10 is reflected this now what is the difference between this for this answer key is not possible till now no artificial intelligence to correct whatever the subject we do we can create a chatbot for exclusively one particular subject that chatbot is brought a plug in to this google form then auto evaluation is possible that should be a project even we can apply dst project aict project we can develop a chatbot for our the curriculum or particular subject matter so now here what is the message i want to give is click answer key that's fine grading mark we want to give here this is a very toughest question i want to give 10 mark mark setting only i am clicking answer key only for mcq i am clicking answer and mark for other question only for the mark now i am coming for this question i am clicking answer this is very simple or much more tougher so i am giving 15 marks that's all then for this department who will give mark it is providing if you wish you give mark otherwise not required then rating we don't give introduction to python assignment we need to click answer key 100 mark i want to give because it is much more higher task 100 marks i am giving then how to set right answer for the mcq click this match the following so answer key click answer key karnataka bangalore tamil nadu chennai telangana hyderabad 2 to mark the karnataka the state is very tough to find out so i am giving five here also you have freedom so look at that is a beauty tamil nadu very easier to understand so one telangana little bit tricky question because of new state okay let me give this for new state this is for two something like that click done that's all so this is called one minute uh, there are several uh, chat box questions or ppt is in the same slide what is the meaning ppt is in the same slide your delivery okay uh, uh, if there is really specific question please answer to qa session students feedback using google form certificate how to create certify me add on i will give you that uh, tips only i will give but certify me if i touch upon it would take 45 minutes sir. so i want to add some other Ma'am, there is one uh, question with related to that uh. Uh, they are asking about uh, how to enter the equations or formulas yeah that is the next step that is the next step chemical and physics and uh, all the engineering chemical that yes. is the next step yeah i am coming okay. yeah please the third question certify me i may not able to explore vernacular language i have written no promised now all the google form features are over now we are moving on to how to set a mathematical equation in terms of question also in terms of answer also similarly how to set a chemical equation in terms of question in terms of answer whatever now let us come back to last question After, somewhere we need to keep then click plus now for this i am going to take you to different software please say with me here in the google no need to remember these days the url code cox uh, even mathematics teacher this will be highly useful for you code cox mathematics teacher all the engineering teacher whomever please pay your attention
code cox equation editor or simply a code cox click here see equation editor code cox i'm going to right click open link in new tab i have reached the new tab i will adjust my tabs mathematical equation yeah i am telling mathematical equation now only one minute there are few qa has come see i reached this code cox equation editor this is the plugin for most of the softwares online software it's a famous code cox so if we come here i'm going to type quadratic equation practice is required awareness i'm creating all the component i cannot give how i am forming a quadratic equation you please uh, pay your attention see i am going to select this a divided by b because minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so that uh, there is a numerator there is a denominator there is a form so that a divided by b now what i am going to do minus b the moment minus b i have written see it will be displaying you may not able to notice i'll increase the size see minus b has come the texture you can follow what you are typing then i will change the font helvetica this will look good then larger type i will put so you it will be larger let us temporarily let us for your vis visible minus b then i am going to click plus or minus plus or minus see immediately it is coming plus or minus then i need to find out square root of b square i can even give b square with like this one minute again i can clicking this b then square so b2 is coming that's what b square i used to put normally let me remove this uh, component itself square root of b into b minus 4 Into a into c, or four a c whatever. Now denominator, two into a. See the texture you can follow. You, if you have patience, you can learn and do better. See, I'm going to put normal. This is the better size. Other is too large. It will be awkward. So these are all over. Now for chemistry equation, I show you. See here, directional, bi-directional, catalyst. At what temperature the chemical reaction need to be maintained? See, uh, equilibrium and uh, Uh, forward direction and backward direction or bi direction all this you have specificity for each and every representation then n may be the number of molecule or uh, uh, units so this all you can use similarly um the matrix and uh, permutation combinations these are all the section you can use these are for relational operators these all for special symbols these all for uh, kind of pi or mathematical symbols so if you look at it will have you just to move on no need even click just move first to move on it will show the panel that panel for the category so after looking at all the panel you decide which symbol need to be clicked then here it will display these are all the type setting then subsequent to that one more point i wanted to emphasize here lab this is not useful lab you, you i am telling the feature of google form you need to find out uh, what is useful for you depending upon your curriculum or your position and role now this is over so this equation two way we can use one is we can download a tiny image that image you can put it in the course material creation or else the same need to be embedded into the google form how i am going to embed is the question now i i tell you how to download See GIF PNG. PNG is better. Click here to download image. This we need to click. Then it will be downloaded. Very tiny image. It will look very elegant and the appearance would become very good when we create a course material. Then copy paste and put it or import that image in your PPT or in your Word file. Wherever the component we want to inculcate this image, it is possible. Now. come here how i am going to bring this equation to the google form is a question now we need to click this i need to click this as url by default it will be in the form of html i need to change it to url after url this i need to copy whatever it shows in the text box below it shows something that is kind of url customizing url i need to copy paste let me come back to google form what i am doing i need to click this image by url very first time i am clicking this 
so far now i haven't uh, clicked this by url i was clicking browse by url paste url it is showing i don't know whether it is visible for you to read or not i don't know paste here that equation has come here now insert image see it has come what is this equation what do you want to set you can mix a uh, question and uh, text some some of the teacher in other workshop they ask how can i bring together it is not possible you can't bring image and text together let it be relevant to the answer or textual matter you need to articulate there image can be kept aside now i have already downloaded one equation see here click this browse code cops already i have png file see in the desktop i have kept it using this only i created so from the desktop also i can upload two way either you download and upload or you go to the code cox and the copy paste that you are two method i am telling so now let us go back to one more time code cox let me create one uh, chemistry equation but right now i i need to delete this or refresh the page now deleted or just to enter refresh the page now fresh i am going for i am i have forgotten uh, that uh, chemistry equation never i am going back and learning something let it be now i am taking this bidirectional or much more than this let us take something complex notation see this is the direction i am writing here before this i am writing something i forgot it plus co 2 co 2h i am trying to do something <laughs> some chemical reaction may happen okay now this arrow above arrow i am going to give 40 degree celsius for that so i can even go here and i can click this so what i am going to write 40 degree o before that i need to write 40 see it is showing 40 degree so now i i will change that all the appearances <coughs> see this is a, a reactant and uh, this is what the temperature above we can see catalyst copper may be the catalyst or ag silver may be the catalyst this is what maximum you will be doing now after the equation what would be coming then co2 may be coming i need to write something co so co whatever this is so you need to write only the practice matter so this direction arrow everything is available things are ready means either you can save it as png or url now it is ready i am copying pasting going back to the form and clicking this image by url paste the url insert image all in one i am doing masala maths and chemistry all together okay that's it chemistry teacher and maths teacher together so how much is here also you can mix both text and equation or simply you can skip the text part then equation alone will be displayed if you try to give answer then answer and equation together will go to your student or else either you maintain text or you can retain image alone choice is yours now we go to vernacular language before that there are few questions let me clear then i can move to how to include vernacular language use for lab wise we are lab wise you can use excellent zoom and this or you can use the uh, how to useful for lab you need to think uh, please tell me how to avoid case sensitive issue or answer case sensitive issue no problem will come ma'am because uh, whatever uh, kavya ma'am whatever students are clicking that option only there is no case sensitive issue students will be reading they are going to pick that's all their duty where is the case sensitive Uh, short answer long answer teacher only going to evaluate fill in the blanks teacher blanks that blank answer if you give students uh, will be picking there is no concept called case sensitive in the google form there are the other software may be having case sensitive now chat i am so okay um, 
you are hearing very low you may need to try to increase uh, your audio system because moderator nobody said anything now audio is very clear madam yeah then they may need very to check clear. at their end yeah that's fine now we go to vernacular language most of you may not be interested for vernacular language but uh, it is my mandatory at least one vernacular teacher is attending then they may feel disappointed how to set um, uh, vernacular language is the topic of discussion now see what i am going to do is because knowing is always better uh, you may be kannadiga or you may be telugu or you may be tamilian or you may be from north india whatever so when time comes you no need to worry now itself we can learn see google input tool you need to type google input tool recently lot of advancement uh, pop up article i have got but i didn't read that google input input tool lot of advancement they have brought in it seems i didn't read yesterday only i didn't i was uh, received uh, that uh, i need to click this come back now click here try it out see we have reached it gives a keypad if you want you use it otherwise not required for me i'm having no see click this just to walk through whatever the language available here beyond that if you are asking me particular language i am not sure so google whichever the language listed here if you are lucky that language would be available if you are not lucky i cannot do anything for that see tamil is a language available turkish is available and uh, urdu is available kannada kannada is available telugu telugu is available hindi look at h hindi is available choice is yours which language you want you can choose let me choose tamil for uh, temporary i am going to type something it is not a question so what i should do imagine this is my question copy come back new question paste it that's all or you can create a lecture notes material now this is over similarly for the answer also go back to um google input tool choose hindi h hindi i am going to type namaskar choose that copy paste multilinguistic also you can set paste here over so always we need to prefer google input tool and we need to change the language which we want then we need to telugu namaste choose the telugu script copy here paste here that's all so which language you want you need to feed that option after feeding you can do with that almost google form uh, have been completed still there are a lot of things wait a minute now i am going to close this come back to this uh, google form look at this total point it is displaying looking at this total point i can correct go back and correct or retain the same for example so i want to set this uh, entire google form for 100 marks what should i supposed to do i should go and fast fast i need to reduce a mark 10 you no need to sit and calculate automatically it will take care of calculating then assignment i want to reduce 70 see 117 has come then further for this question state and capital let it be for other question i am going to modify then for this subject type question i can change 5 marks it's reducing 112 marks have come on the top 112 has come on the top so this is how the mark setting is possible now let us move on to the subsequent feature the feature is send i am done beautifully how to send that is the next question so click send the send button if you want to send specifically to four five member we should know the mail ids of that four five member copy paste here click the send button this is one option second option public event it is for public uh, then or for even your student click the middle button shorten url we can create a short url for this google form copy the moment you click the button copy it is available see i'm going to paste this url in the google form itself you send this google form link either through whatsapp or gmail or put it in the google classroom anything is possible so that is what we are trying to do with the send button or else directly share it in the facebook twitter not required the moment the url is available with us we can post it in the linkedin we can post it in twitter and uh, 
anywhere whatsapp status also we can post that google form link that's all that link another question will come tomorrow i am coming i am changing this butterfly i am going to remove five question what will happen nothing will happen that url is a unique identifier it will remain the same same if you want to change anything you can keep on changing suppose before changing five participant responded then that's all case you want to add three more question the three participant you need approach back again that is the only constraint but uh, anything we change no need to change the ur that remains the same until this google form exist now another uh, interesting thing i will tell you this three dot before the three dot i show here see look at this triple dot i am i am clicking in another uh, google form if you look at add collaborator for this google form i have added my work uh, professional networking people so i have added collaborator two of uh, members are collaborator of this form i don't know am i audible internet is very slow i think so why it is uh, it's very slow yes ma'am audible ma'am Hi, yes, ma'am. Uh, but uh, it's very slow. Yeah. See, the owner of this school for me is R A K Analytics. I am the collaborator for that particular owner. There is one more collaborator. What is advantage is we three of us can able to do any corrections, any changes with the Google form. Subsequently, we will come to know how many people registered response we can able to see. So that is the advantage of collaborator. Otherwise, we need to call our friend. Hey, how many registration have come? No need to worry. Uh, we can add a hachodi also let the hachodi knows what i am doing with the google form so if any english correction need to be done let her do let her, let the hachodi do so that's all so it's a opportunity owner only can delete the google form rest all can contribute to the google form so that this is what i wanted to tell let us go back now i am clicking this triple dot i'm going to add my husband as a collaborator add collaborator now i am going to use my husband mail id click this i'm going to click send button that's all he will get the notification he also has equal rights of what i am doing with this google form but he can't delete the entire google form he, he can't crush but anything else he can do i'm clicking send button the moment send button is clicked he will get the notification he also can come on to the google form he can remove this butterfly he can keep anything that kind of thing now this response button look at this for this google form this is one of the workshop google form 296 participant registered across india so click this response button you will come to know the participants detail whatever you ask for how to see within the google form it is tough to see so that click this triple dot to next to the green color button download responses it will be available in the form of excel sheet or csv form that's all csv is another version of excel that's it nothing to worry about it so with that excel sheet you can do anything you call personally you group them analyze them and uh, communicate with them that's all so this is so now since it is very fresh form you can't see response now there is a question in the qa box how to generate certificate for that there is a add on i have brought add on timeify.me similarly we need to bring add on certify me that how to bring add on it's a ocean within the google form we can have plenty of other add-ons uh, that itself would go for one and a half day two day for talking about google form itself see come to this triple dot triple dot you can notice add-ons click add-ons uh, i am giving guideline youtube has lot of video i i thought of doing this video there is no time permit for me see certify me click this certify me no need to even click it will come the moment certify if you uh, type four letter it will come certify me otherwise also see walk through you need to read this you need to understand doc appender form builder flag flation form approval email notifications a lot of form publishing options are available see certify me this is the add up we need to couple with google form it has few steps that's all then automatically certificate template you need to bring in then it will generate that certify me you please be aware of this how to click add on i said include add on then watch some youtube video get to know that because uh, uh, to say frankly i know more than 100 softwares open source educational 
uh, free software for teaching learning practices, English language teaching, uh, maths uh, teachers, ex exclusively for teachers like that I'm having. And then that I'm versatile with the 50, at least I wanted to give at least three to four softwares for you all. That is the reason I'm restricting. Otherwise, only Google form I need to talk. Then this webinar is for only Google form. The title is Modern Tools and Softwares. I need to give some softwares. So that is a concern, nothing more. So with that, you can uh, explore by yourself. So let, before going back to Google Classroom, uh, let me clear this QA session. Yeah, there is no more uh, specific QA. Then I'll clear the chat box. Then I'll, because uh, chat box also, they are communicating something. Feedback link. Okay. Okay. Now we move on to the LMS. That is primarily we should uh, know whenever uh, we are coming to teaching learning practices. I'm going to give the LMS called Google Classroom. And also, I will explain about and give awareness or walkthrough about Moodle Cloud. This is different. Moodle Cloud is different than Moodle.org. This is different. This is another website. This, what is the difference I will tell? First, Google Classroom, what is the advantage I will tell? Google Classroom, there is no restriction. Every teacher can create at the maximum of some 2000 question, uh, courses. Per day, it permits 20, some 20 courses. Within a day, a teacher can create that many courses. There is no restriction with your uh, participants. You can add even 1,000 participants in your class. So these are all the advantage. Number two, ease of use. Any teacher, any particular student, those who are versatile in Gmail access can able to use Google Classroom. Then there is no memory constraint. This much GB only you need to deal. This much uh, GB you are not permitted. There is no memory constraint. If you have gmail.com, it is sufficient. If the teacher is creating a Gmail Google Classroom, gmail.com is um, uh, gmail.com. All your students also should have gmail.com. If the teacher is creating ac.in, ac.in is also Google account. For the academic purpose, they are generous enough to extend the domain. So ac.in, if the teacher is into ac.in, all your stakeholders should be in ac.in. Then edu.in, edu.in is also Google account. If you have these three accounts, more than enough. No other subscription, no other creation. When it comes Moodle Cloud, it is giving 200 MB only for a course per teacher. Beyond that, if you are demanding for MB, you need to pay money subscription. Moodle Cloud, that is the main primary concern. Secondary concern is very tedious. If I want to cover Moodle, Google, uh, Moodle Cloud, definitely it would take five hours or eight hours to make a teacher need to be empowered. Without eight hours, no one can do magic to teach Google Cloud. It, for working on Google Cloud also, internet is required. Moodle.org, for this Moodle.org, we can go with the latest version we can download. Institution need to have very good server with a good configuration. You can deploy. A team who is good at MySQL, PHP, JavaScript, HTML. This is the language expertise required. That team can customize. You can even change the flavor, colors, background, so much thing you can do. What the particular affiliated university is demanding, according to that, you can customize some more. Then you need only the concern. You need to have, uh, what to say, the stable server. What is the disadvantage of the first two I'll tell? What is the advantage of Moodle? Moodle.org, if you are deploying in your institution server, management can sit in the Apex overall administrator. He, he or she can watch what is happening in the institution with every teacher. HOD or principal can look into all the courses of the institution. HOD can look into department. That hierarchy is possible to set. But with Moodle Cloud, you need to invite the HOD. Only then HOD can understand what's happening. That is very tough uh, with the Moodle Cloud. But Google Classroom, there is an option called Collaborator. 
we can invite a principal and hod they can monitor every teacher we can insist to include hod mail id principal mail id management whomever your stakeholder whomever you want you can include the mail ids of them in the option called collaborator they also will equally play a role as a teacher they can communicate there also they can monitor they can understand what's happening in and out so which one you want you prefer i prefer i love only google classroom because irrespective of the department english teacher math teacher physics teacher those who are all away from this uh, gadget everyone can able to understand that ease of and use ease of understanding is primary concern both for teacher and learner that is the reason all my workshop i used to promote google classroom because very faster there is no limitation for number of courses number of students and uh, for the moodle uh, i am not sure some restriction is there a uh, 200 mb or 40 mb for i will open the page i will show you and number of users only 200 per course 200 user md is much more lesser i think so 40 mb let me show you one minute i'll show you moodle cloud i am going to type enter go to moodle cloud come here um get started before that get your moodle uh, cloud site now i am going to click this so that the pricing detail will come through. see look at a uh, 400 mb sorry 400 mb 200 user this is for free if you bring lot of video uh, uploading video this is not sufficient if you give url youtube url it is okay if you want to increase uh, other option 80 80 dollar per year look at this if your institution fit into this category go for moodle cloud no objection otherwise that just giving introduction to moodle cloud itself it would take half an hour but within half an hour i can train google classroom people immediately started using i want to see the immediate benefit that is the reason i used to go for google classroom let us come back to this moodle.org your rigorous team should be there to take care with the technical and uh, bug fixing and uh, deploying deploying the software means uh, bringing that uh, software from somebody's website to your college server it is localized nobody else can see what is happening in your college except your stakeholder very safe google classroom also nobody can see it is closed loop your student who are all permitted those members only can see what's happening whether we commit wrong also right also or extraordinary also that stakeholder only can see moodle cloud also the same everywhere the privacy is maintained everywhere if they want to hack hijack or uh, shut down your server it is possible so these are all the primary concern so choose your path if at all moodle is required definitely uh, moodle cloud itself i request 5 hours of uh, slot for me moodle.org i can't deploy at your institution server i don't have that versatility i can't do for that so this is the major difference between these three software time permits i will walk through the google moodle cloud for the periphery level if not i will move on to other software now it's up some 410 maybe around another 45 minutes we can go and qa session and well retreat mode within that google classroom few more softwares i can talk about it. now the where this forms are available see go to my drive in the my drive amc demo double click we will open we need to come to the drive this is my personal google form this is right now which i created in this workshop if i don't want i can delete see just remove button the moment i click remove button it will be deleted nothing more now we are going to google classroom first i'll give you a demonstration how we are using in our institution past 3 and 1/2 years almost in our group itself all of our institutions started using google classroom primarily secondary we are using edmodo these two are only in our institutions we are using so click double triple dot scroll down click this classroom if it is not available go to google classroom the normal google search just type google classroom enter click this 
google classroom.google.com that is a url or whenever you see this icon you can click so i'm coming here see th this is in another account i am going to change the account to one more account this is gmail account my mtech students don't have institution mail id they forgot an its password so that gmail i created see this is the course uh, i can walk through with you the it shows there are four courses i'm having 48 students 59 43 67 student this almost two years ago i have created by that time there is no grading option this is how the course looks title of the subject this all course code this is a unique code created by the google for every google classroom this will remain the same however the changes you do the moment we create for trial also or real also this unique code will be given this code we need to share to our students they can join or if we know their mail id we can now uh, we ourselves include our student or we can ask them to join our student see past 15 days i am telling 66 students seven more students they have not joined it several warnings i had given through whatsapp and uh, while uh, online classes also they are not turning up tomorrow i am going to harvest that six students i am going to send the uh, list in the whatsapp group hachori is also available they need to state the explanation mail for me and hachori that is a rule i am going to pass on very tough other way around i am going to fill their uh, mail id that is fine involuntary students may be available but that guy is not at all interested to walk through the google classroom there is no use that's why never i take up of creating students list into the google classroom i will give bolis their on their code let them know what they need to do this is the code it has very simple within this four button the power of lms cms is completing stream the order in which i created the material the very first material december 10th 2019 this is called evidence based teaching learning practices overnight i can't do anything on that day what i did is recorded whether spelling mistake or whatever whether i did my justice on time everything will be recorded that is a advantage of digital class work this class work is the only portion we need to work on this create button this all google meet google calendar everything imbibed here class drive folder everything have brought to the google classroom recently then people this people section only shows who are all available i mean to say here only stakeholder suppose my hr here they have given freedom in our institution what we need to mention i am using google classroom which is the course code i need to tell no need to tell about how i am doing so the here i need to type the mail id of hr or principal or whomever the stakeholder want to monitor the quality in that case if i click what will happen is that person will come and sit here along with this teacher role they will be playing they the person who i am bringing as a collaborator can able to see what i am doing how students are communicating with me what are all the material quality of my material whether i am creating lecture notes for all the five unit or not everything can be monitored choice is yours then grades when i use this google form there is no button called grade those days now only it is in included that is why it is showing not done missing now grade option recent 3 months ago for uh, so not uh, before lockdown 3 months maybe 2020 only they have brought that option called grades this is the walk through of google classroom now let us see how we can create now i am going to create a demo in this official website only see only one button we need to understand this triple line the triple line has lot of feature then this plus button that's all if we click that plus button join a classes for student create a classes for teacher i am a teacher role so i need to click create class join a class means if i click this it will ask to enter the class code i was showing no class code that j2344 something will come no that student teacher need to uh, pass on to the student then student need to type here then they will become the student of your course that's all simple role if i want to be a teacher create class i am going to give amc demo at the end i will be deleting uh, what is what the subject uh, education technology et subject online room zoom something like that i am going to 
this credential later on also you can edit nothing to worry something goes wrong also we can edit create it will take couple of minutes for creation it needs to customize the all the initialization steps so it will take some see created with the orange color fraction of second course is created moodle for creating a course one hour i need to speak after that also there are people will have lot of doubts so course code this is the course code whomever i pass on they can become a student 3 4 s5 fjj that's all i can write it on the board or i can give it to whatsapp i can i can send you a mail do whatever the method now first step we are in the stream in the stream what we can do announcement this is meant for announcement hi guys something your plan of uh, handling the class i will include active learning strategies come on uh, learning activities i will conduct with the softwares what we want to articulate um, you can articulate that's all simply i am typing something now for this articulation initially we will be giving syllabus so that that syllabus you can talk about here and uh, you can introduce you about your yourself i am the course instructor of compiler design so and so the way i want to handle for you i am expecting this is the academic integrity cooperation from you learning cooperation i am the instructor versatile having this much anything you want you articulate add with that add we can add any material syllabus material from the google drive link if you have online uh, syllabus display we can bring that link file this file if we click browse click the browse any software these are all the things available or upload click the upload browse from the computer and put it here that's all then post without this schedule maybe i want to display this need to be shown to students uh, end of august i can schedule save draft nothing is completed something is pending then i can put it in the save draft i don't want anything posting because i am ready i am posting now it will post first in last out whichever we created first that will sit at the last of the list this page whichever we have created recent that will sit sit on the top so this is over now we are moving to next this is what very vital here we can't do anything only we can articulate something if you wish we can attach something attaching is not mandatory that's all fraction of time everything it will do the speed scalability is awesome much better than the software nothing can beat now we can click class work we come here to the class work create click the create button within the create button topic creation no need to worry topic creation never i use i tell you within every activity we can create a topic assignment we can create quiz assignment quiz assignment is simple it's a google form that's all questions we can create subject to type questions material we can create these are all the possibility whatever i discuss in the google form everything is possible here that's all already i have invested enough time now this is easy for me i am going to click material first very first topic phases of compiler i am having already i am having the material add click add file upload browse i am having i need to go to the folder which i am teaching cd i need to click here here i am having faces of compiler something let's call irrelevant only bring it let it be but it is a uh, that subject matter i have attached then add you can give youtube video click youtube i am going back to my channel i am going to see faces of compiler itself available faces of compiler copy paste this url close this come back to the google classroom click url paste to the url add we are recommending youtube some video also to be watched by our student suppose you may ask question i don't want to display my video on the youtube but i want to give my youtube my video to my student very simple click add click file upload the video where you saved then that video will sit in your teachers google drive from that google drive students will be watching 
simple no need to worry no need to bring your video onto the youtube at all if you want to maintain your privacy you create your video keep it on your desktop or somewhere in your c drive wherever you want then click that upload option then after that browse upload your video that's it so now we come back to here this side we need to look at on the right hand side now all student or particular student advanced learner you can create advanced topics nac and nba as for what do you do for bright students what do you do for feeble students then accordingly you can uh, create a, a list you can select student among several student this is how i am creating material this is how i am mentoring my student you can showcase so now no topic i am creating a topic faces of compiler what is the purpose of this topic is it will show archival then which topic i want to learn later that easily i can click i can go to instead of scrolling the page being a student i can look at that archival click that that topic only i want to learn from my teacher all other topic i learn from somewhere else so that choice click post here also three option schedule save draft save draft discard draft post just post or else you copy paste the material there itself see faces of compiler created then later on you want to change there is a spelling mistake here click triple dot copy link rename delete here see this triple dot edit edit copy paste some material whichever uh, the definition itself you can copy paste if it is uh, no equation simple uh, english only answer for the topic just copy paste here syllabus you can copy paste no need to give attachment also if you copy paste when the student clicks the title will be there the relevant uh, reading material would be there um i can uh, open uh, a word file something i can copy paste uh, for the demo purpose unit 1 lexical analysis see basic terminologies these all copying pasting this is what the coverage of topic i can say the complete material also i can give or agenda of that material also i can give this is what agenda of my material uh, the material which i prepared for one particular topic has these are all the agenda so the richness of uh, the document or that creation became better then once again we need to click save so first topic is over now click see archival faces of compiler like this i can look at being a student after the teacher creation of five unit material which topic i want to study that alone i can click and study that ease of access is the topic click create these all in 5 minutes i can wrap up material is over reuse post is what little bit you are changing the existing post you want to reuse never i use it leave it now i am going for quiz assignment click quiz assignment we have reached see google form only is there if you click this the same story what we have discussed if you want you can set mcq or subjective question or assignment upload whatever you want you can do. title you need one mcq instruction less than 5 mark if you are scoring i will not consider your internal mark do whatever you want you articulate that's it now points i am going to set 10 question each question carries 10 mark that is also fine or i can change it to 10 marks also choice is yours due date you can set the due date you can pick the due date from the calendar 31st july students need to mandatory to complete this mcq or within a day within the time uh, see for example i want to conduct a test today itself so today the date is what 25th yeah 25th itself time i am going to give 8 o'clock by 8 o'clock you may need to submit the assignment time i can set here that's all after 8 o'clock i can toggle off rubrics this rubrics uh, uh, included after the lockdown periodically every two months once they are bringing lot of changes and features as some features see check plagiarism just now i am seeing during amc workshop only i am seeing see your student plagiarism teacher plagiarism also you can check as some today only i am seeing i was handling the same google classroom just 8 days to 10 days ago to andhra pradesh one of the institution i couldn't notice now i am seeing check plagiarism that is a uh, power of uh, google now these are all over rubrics so mcq what rubric you can create if you wish you can create so create a rubric here it will tell 
choice of selection how wrong the student is selecting that shows the deviation from the topic it is a little bit relevant answer they are selecting that's better learning is there some kind of rubrics you can create if you wish otherwise just say close and discord we can take back yeah discord at topic if you want to create a topic it's a unit one mcq clarity will be there what we have done like that we will have clarity now we need to double click say again it is taking me to the google form same story you do but it will be coupled now you no need to generate a google form link and go no need to keep there whatever you are doing it will be coupled there no need to share or else stand alone also we can do google form we can create that uh, shareable link we can come and uh, paste it here so anything is possible it will understand now things are ready click assign i am not creating questions i am just assigning with the empty box proctored exam all are pay, pay licensed software i am not a brand ambassador of the software so open source software only i am telling proctored exam none of the software is available for free please understand you need to uh, do you need to do payment now click create quiz assignment assignment question we can create a rubric what we are expecting free from english mistake free from technical mistake more articulation is required if the articulation is more i will award more mark something kind of rubrics what is our expectation what is rubrics how to set rubrics also i have articulated in my youtube video channel so i just walk through the youtube video so if you watch these all almost 25 30 softwares you can become familiar that entire youtube channel and there are few and our data analytics videos also available i just copy and paste it in the chat box if you wish you can go through in the chat i am pasting the youtube url if you wish you can go through it that's all now if you look at here these are all the video i have created using ppt ppt means this black color bar will be there this is created with prezi this is these are all animation this is created with prezi this is with prezi this is with prezi see that a spread would be covered across the screen this is prezi these are all prezi nowhere you can notice the black color bar after uh, learning prezi so prezi software also i have created see kahoot quiz epic pen ed puzzle prezi wish word quizlet cool text um these are all related to this and further down there are other softwares available playlist if you click playlist in the channel you it will show the complete category educational thought liked video my liked video compiler design chatbot and data analytics which one you want to do you can do that's all better you can go for playlist now let us come back here we are going for assignment the same story title say create we can create google doc google slide google sheet google drawing google forms google drawing is also available but i am not appreciating google drawing rather lucid chart i'll type lucid chart it is part of google product only lucid chart this you can use for drawing activity lucid chart it can use now you can create a question subject type question due date point rubrics that subject type of question what you are expecting schematic diagram what exactly your expectation that all you can create si similarly a student submits check for plagiarism 100% plagiarism means what they are doing copying pasting from the internet if at all 50% plagiarism you are permitting you give good mark the rubric itself what free from plagiarism not ditto copy paste at least rearticulation or tailoring no. or uh, adapting some other material referring 10 website and uh, culminating the points views so check for plagiarism recently it has been introduced i am happy about it now lucid chart is over create google doc google slide google sheet i want to give you a walk through for these are 5 for 5 minutes software let me give this 5 minutes software it is mandatory during this uh, uh, 
uh, remote collaboration, these three software would be useful. Even you may be expecting document from your subordinates, data from your student, placement activities happening, placement training we are doing, uh, we are doing quantitative aptitude training, talent show code beta training for uh, programming skill for uh, hackathon or uh, all the coding competitions. So lot of trainings for students uh, we are doing. We are collecting all the data from uh, students, either Google form or Google uh, sheet. And one more, uh, Kaizala is one of the Microsoft, uh, like a Telegram and WhatsApp we are using for our students' connectivity. So a lot of things happening for students. For that, we need to have this all. For uh, students' point of view, you can collaborate through this software, doc, slides, sheets for your project and the material preparation are for collaborative, collaboration. The same, it will look like same, what we discussed here, question, material, um, assignment, all those three will look like similar. Quiz assignment will look like Google form. Uh, material is for creating material. So you can bring material and plug in in a minute. Very simple elegant uh, software. Now, Google Classroom, if you want to have or ask question, I can give, or else we move on to Google Doc and the Google Slide and the Google uh, uh, Sheets for one, one minute, because mostly we need to operate uh, remotely. Uh, maybe end of the day, you may want to have some data from your faculty. Uh, for NAC and NBA, we are working NAC and NBA through these three only. And all the core structure, we are going for R2 regulation, curriculum setting. In every team we are working with a different, different curriculum. We are coming up with the three new courses. Every team is working with a Google Doc only. Every collaborative presentation we are doing with the Google Slides. So let me walk through that. Go to Google Drive, click New, Google Doc. Click Google Doc. It will take us to the Google Doc. It will look like Microsoft Word, but there are features not available. There are features additionally available. What is the exciting feature I will tell you? So if you want to correct a student's assignment, no need to give closure and uh, feedback through um, uh, texting, typing. So what you can do is you can open student's uh, document uh, in the Google Doc, just to upload that assignment uh, or in the Google uh, Classroom, double click and uh, make it as a Google Doc document. What you can do is go to tools, voice typing. Anybody is writing a book, you can use make use of this feature. Typing will become tiring job. See, click this mic, write this moment, whatever I'm talking, it will convert speech to text. The speed need to be optimum. Neither it should be too low, nor it should be too fast. Not it should be too fast. So it is uh, typing whatever I'm telling. So with that, if you are authoring for your book, or you want to create a lecture notes, or you want to give you a uh, closure and reflection for your students upon their assignment. You can create like this. You can put role number one, paste one. Role number one, what do you want to articulate, articulate. Role number two, what do you want to communicate, to communicate. Send it across your students. So you, you, you can open their assignment and uh, you can uh, give the comment here, audio note. Then you can uh, change the color of the text. That is what your comment. Sometimes it may commit mistake based on the pronunciation and accent, then based on the speed of articulation. So understand how it works accordingly, slow down your articulation, then you can change also, you can paraphrase later on also. So this is the power of Google Doc. Now, not only this is the power, now I am going to show the magic. What is the magic is click the share button. I need to first name it. I'm not naming it, see. Uh, this is ANC demo. Later on, I can delete, no? So, ANC demo. Click the share button. You need to, before, now, this Google Doc, I want to send to only my friends. Then I need to uh, bring their mail ID. See, these are all the friends' name available. My student name, my husband name. There are, there are two friends' mail IDs are available. This, any one of my friend, I can pick. Then that particular friend can be collaborator of this Google Doc. Otherwise, Click this get link. I'm going to change this restricted anyone with this link. Please pay your attention. This is important. I need to click this. Now I'm going to share this link, copy link. Chat box, I'm going to share. share. See, every one of you can come and work on the same Google Doc. You can write hi, bye, whatever you want. See, click that link. Every one, one minute, I shared it to the panelist. I need to do for all attendees. 
i shared now i request two three of you two three of you please uh, come to this google form see one person immediately have come see look at anonymous play typers there are two person have come you type somewhere one of you type before here one of you type after this paragraph i will come to know who is typing where there are four persons have reached my google form five person six person see rapid fast i request any one of the participant to type in the beginning of the paragraph another participant to type at the end of the paragraph so now what will happen even research paper writing we can sit to, uh, together through zoom meeting we can type whatever i feel uh, course uh, course structure we were creating na uh, i propose one course my friend would be deleting another friend would be giving another recommendation come on here please type on the document click here once you reach it means you type do what something type good evening hi bye type something why are you afraid one of you please try to type now there are six people uh, six uh, five plus uh, five ten people have joined this uh, google form i can notice that if uh, ten people joined here if i don't know the mail id then it is shows anonymous if i particularly share to my friends my husband then it will show their name when they join Uh, telling my husband name, he is available. That uh, name itself will be there. Who are all available? Who is changing? Who is uh, removing my content? Also, I can notice. Come on, yeah, type. Some of you, nobody is typing. Few of you, please try to type. Somewhere you type whatever you want to type. You type where you want to type. Simply say hi. Nobody is typing. Yeah, I edit text. Sorry, sorry. I will do the one minute. Sorry. that is another mistake yeah at least you have come to know viewer only i had given editor see here i need to change editor done now you can type yeah please type now i have changed the option editor mode i had given no no need to install doc please you should have internet that's all yeah someone is typing see here orange color that is not mine type here please say some hi you reach the document at least say hi See somebody is already here deleting my content. Hi, good evening. Hachi, good evening. Somebody is typing. See, somebody is trying to delete my content. See, collaboratively we can work. Within a week we can complete a paper. We can complete a project report. See, hello, good evening. Somebody is typing. Hello, ma'am. Here somebody is typing. Somebody is trying to delete the content. All things I can notice. What's happening in my super session? Somebody is typing. One is typing. Uh, hello, ma'am. Yeah, within one hour we can complete the call. Otherwise, no sitting PowerPoint, sending through mail. That guy will open after five days. Then version control. You will do one version. He will maintain one version. So with that we can yeah buy Uma ready. So this this is how you can work with the Google Doc. Then input text tool is possible. One of the my husband's Hachori. He is a retired professor. He want to author some book. but he is feeling tiring for typing so he asked me to give this input tool how to convert speech to text then after this he was very much thankful for me he is authoring right now some book some articles he is authoring so for that these are all the input tool these are all useful so the collaborative activity is useful input uh, that uh, speech to text text is possible hi ma'am bindu ma'am is typing hi ma'am so this is a i will come to know who is changing who is altering who is deleting uh quickly the work is done this is anonymous notice don't give anonymous notice closed friends who is associative with you for that particular given official task with them alone you share that's all yeah thank you all let us uh, then go through this here see tools if you go lot of other tools available translate document one language to another language translation is possible you can link object review suggested edits so many other uh, compare document word count formatting insert insert equation editor special character page number header and footer whatever we enjoy with microsoft word is also available so we just walk through for my word also sorry google doc also there are plenty of add ons get add ons go here walk through the add ons understand the name of the add on see math type lucid chart 
doc to form we need to understand the name of adam we need to type the name of the adam in the google we need to understand the manual procedure after that we need to double click otherwise it will guide automatically it will take some time see accents that uh, top uh, some letter a top that line will be coming na accent that all accent if you want to incorporate automatically you can incorporate see kaizena is speech to text earlier two years ago i used to give training on google cloud doc those days no input a speech to text those days i used to bring kaizena this kaizena only was helpful now google itself brought the tool no need of kaizena goodbye that's it so just go through music notation in your docs you can give music music means audio note you can plug in audio note also uh, student need to click that audio note you are mixing text and audio yeah, how beautiful the document would be imagine google doc you text and uh, click this bring this flat music notation in your doc then articulate audio note so a lot of magic we can do with this google add on the same add on will not be supported by moodle moodle means moodle has its own flavor that alone we need to restrict we can't uh, go for broad picture so this is over i'm going to close this now new going for google sheet in a fraction of minute i can collect data all of you maybe 150 participants some i am not sure yeah 120 participants i can collect your all data in a fraction of time but i am not going to do don't worry so i am going to just uh, demonstration purpose i am going to do just to you come and type a b c d that's all a m c demo now i am going to give serial number this excel sheet name department cell number college state something i am going to do don't give anything just uh, for purpose of demo i am creating see background color give some background bold change the font size what decoration you want to do you do now i am going to give background color then bold font size 12 now 1 2 3 enough i can click this brought in then automatic number generation so then next i need to select all these cells i can apply grid now sheet is ready i can expand this department your mobile number college name your college name may be very larger then what i supposed to do let me tell you state name now for the college name alone i can select the columns go to format text wrapping wrap it will fold to the next line otherwise it will overlap that's all how to bring image i will tell you later now i am going to see chat also we can do open comment history we can give comment history share the same story amc demo say after this get link then i need to give anyone on the link after anyone on the link i need to give edit option after edit option copy done now i am going to share in the chat box once again demo please take part now also come and type something i am not expecting your original information just type something see one of you type here one of you type here something some a b c d come and type something if you wish you can reveal your detail i don't want anything after that only one feature i want to tell see one faculty started typing see everybody is fighting for first cell you come down please randomly choose sir. one is typing one is deleting that's why what we do know we used to keep the name of the faculty here uh, for the function also they will be asking vegetarian non vegetarian most of every month before lockdown we used to have one or other way some dinner lunch most of the day we will be having exciting opportunities christians used to celebrate before christmas they will offer lunch for us they will keep veg non veg number of members so that it gives clarity for the preparation everything a to z we will be using google sheet every day we will be working on google sheet 
then vacation also we will indicate here itself so we will come to know everybody's vacation transparent only we will work mostly we are all transparent a very eco friendly leadership team we have so very healthy environment we have so that all uh, see everybody is typing uh, to fix this issue only see the devi navin uh, started typing yet another shilpa have come and overwritten so that we will copy paste i don't know your name that is why i am leaving we will copy paste the name of the student or the faculty a roll number uh, their register number something we will copy that's all similarly google da slide i am not going for google slide i am thinking of what software any software if i touch up one it would take 45 minutes to 50 minutes so what i emphasize is video based lms yet puzzle i request you to watch this video i request all the teachers to make use of this yet puzzle benefit for your teaching learning intervention see most of the time whenever you are taking online classes if the student uh, student is not able to join due to any reason then we may need to give you a video if you give you a video you can upload in the google drive you can share or you can send through whatsapp or you can uh, put it in google classroom everything or you can recommend uh, you can upload in the youtube you can recommend the youtube channel but the question is what is accountability how many students are watched what is a portion of the video watched <clears throat> how can i understand that video is understood by student or not for that it's a fabulous software it puzzle equivalent to it puzzle only one more software is available vizia p a z i a so that it puzzle is video based lms i request all the teaching fraternity to use this mandatorily i am not a brand ambassador not even a single paisa i am earning using this software you can do a wonder if you wish i can walk through but there would not be any time for demonstration because uh, i already am exhausted morning i was having two hours class subsequently to this workshop so this video i request all of you to watch and make use of this software in your teaching learning intervention the name of the software is yet puzzle i just to show you how i use yet puzzle what are all the benefits sir because even though you learn the software after inviting student how that software will look you need to wait until your student take part so that with me the demo walk through you can do so what i am going to show you is yet puzzle finally if time permits yeah i am going to come out of the google uh, sheet if time permits i will uh, show you no time permits my energy permits <laughs> week end of the week also it's not beginning of the week i am going to type in the google just yet puzzle yet puzzle this is how the home page will look login friendly with google click login no need of uh, registration pick your role i am a teacher student need to pick a role i am a student see sign in with google click this sign in with google i am choosing my institution account logged in i'll show you one uh, beautiful uh, how i used this software see so this is the software uh sorry this is a video i am going to click my classes after clicking my classes one minute I mute a video because top is the important button. Content, grade book, my classes. See, when you click my class, only one video which is completed. Sixty-one answers available. Twenty of twenty-nine. There are twenty students watched this video out of twenty-nine. Now I'm going to click this. See, it shows the very first person watched ninety percent of the video. January twenty nine two thousand nineteen. Then another person watched this video, so it shows on time late. I can put a deadline. These are all the students enrolled for this, but never watched. This is partially watched. Those who watched more than seventy five percent, it shows the green. 
less than 75% shows this. Which date student watched, which time student watched. The, what are all the features I will tell. Every, uh, this, uh, the video, the moment we bring into uh, yet puzzle, we can do majorly uh, five activities. Number one, we can crop the video, either our video or somebody's video. We can crop which portion of the video we want to retain for our student. Number one feature. Number two feature, what is the feature is, we can bring voice over. What is voice over? I'm going to pick one NPTEL male professor video. I can maintain the visual. I can do voice over for first 10 minutes or where I want exactly voice over or throughout the video also. You may ask, is it ethical? It's up to you. The feature I am explaining what is available. So up, uh, uh, then that change, I am bringing NPTEL, uh, sorry, IIT professor video, no? I am doing voice over, no? Then that original video will be affected? Not at all. Only that voice over is available with the yet puzzle alone, not in the YouTube. Original video I am not changing. Yet puzzle will create new video with the voice over. Suppose if that male professor is appearing, what can I do? Choice is yours. So one more advantage I'll tell you. One of the video I have committed grammatical mistake, uh, few instances. So that alone I brought that video. I didn't do retake. I have brought that uh, mistake, mistaken video and I did voice over for that location alone. So that is the advantage of this. Then it will not affect your original video. It will affect only for that video. For the yet person, we can bring a video from our desktop. We can bring the video from the YouTube. Both way it permits. Then this is the another feature, voice over. Then across the video, we can give text notes. Text notes means what? Pop-up text. Some notes we can bring. We can give some uh, URL also to read. What is the meaning? Student is going to watch up to 10 minutes. There you can bring one URL. You can, you are, you are recommending, uh, you can articulate text also. You are emphasizing your students to go and read that material. And you are asking to come back to your video. Everything is possible. You can bring picture. You can, uh, you can ask your students to look at the picture, then continue to watch the video. You would have missed that picture in your uh, PPT. Nothing to be panic. Then you can give another feature, audio notes. What is the meaning of audio notes? I'm bringing IIT professor video. He is a male professor. My student also should not degrade myself. My teacher is picking somebody's video. She don't know the topic that is why. So I can give audio note then and there. That professor may be giving four application. I can talk about five more application. I can greet my students in the beginning. Hey guys, this is a video brought from Bhushan, so and so IAT. So he is articulating very well. Please keep watching. I will be guiding you for further problems or discussions in my online class or in the classroom. We can discuss. If if you have any questions, let me know. Then comment. You can ask them to give you a comment on that video also. Anything is possible. So. Then MCQ question is possible to set across the video. Auto evaluation is possible. For every concept, you can set a question across the video itself. Subjective type question is also possible. But subjective type question, teacher need to evaluate. MCQ question, like Google form, if you click the answer, auto evaluation is possible. These all step by step in, the, in my video I have articulated. Now let us see the answers. I didn't ask question, rather it is a kind of, do you feel this video is useful for your learning? Please share your views, I said, I asked. Then next uh, I asked, this all will be available till the um, inspection committee visits. Let me hear your doubts in my contact class, meet you soon. How do you see? Thank you for watching, give your valuable feedback for this video. So this uh, communication is also possible. Our subject type question is also possible. MCQ type question is also possible. It would take minimum 50 minutes to address. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Almost we reach the end of the session also. If this 50 minutes, it would take another six hours. Here I'm sitting in one of the cabin. The light is also not functioning. So I may need to vacate in 15 minutes before it becomes darker. So this is the um, uh, power of eight puzzle. We can crop the video. We can bring our own video or YouTube video. 
and we can give text messages images we can bring into the video mcq question substitutive question voice over audio note eight features so all the eight features if you wish you can use or any couple of feature or nothing you can do you can just for accountability you can bring so it will give you pinpoint detail and what otherwise we will become moral police <laughs> rather than being teacher hey come on guy who are you watched if you say lie you will get caught no need to do that all uh, moral police duty the data shows who is uh, attentive who is inattentive who is a keen learner who is more self motivated self motivator no within uh, the moment we circulate immediately they will sit and watch that all the pin point we are getting understanding profile of the audience is the vital characteristics of the teacher why this video i have brought within a week i will emphasize said person to my student when i go to new class i will get to know the power of articulation actually there are 66 students i don't know how the students are deleted whether they with it or till the last workshop it was there 66 students were there now it is 29 only i need to check out i think i think i cannot get back again see yes madam the, there are people highly articulate those people are very uh, talkative in the class and there are people uh, uh, after watching this video they have expressed lot of gratitude to me so with those students really they got connected with me they became personal friend till now so this data helped me a lot then one girl was uh, shailaja she was articulating with four five lines uh, whatever the question i said but in the classroom she is not at all opening mouth uh, there is a phobia uh, crowd of phobia she is having the stage fear but she is having good articulation skill english power of expression is good so then i was mentoring her don't be like that you have that potential come out whenever i ask question you please try to be interactive with them so that that purpose i used with this video so i initially created a thread of discussion so how people are articulating there are students simply they will put yes no nothing more they will articulate they are not expressive either they are not interested to learn or they are not having the capability of expressing skill so to whom you want to focus whether you want to focus on creamy or that weak students so this is a kind of perceive that a kind of understanding we used to have the parameters we will have understanding the profile of the audience is the noble characteristics every teacher should have accordingly we need to tailor them we need to mentor them we need to guide them we need to design our instructional strategy engagement our power of expression examples so that all uh, that uh, understanding is possible with yet person so with that uh, note i would like to conclude the session and um, see uh, i have categorized the softwares into these many open source lms you look at open source lms alone how many are available google classroom that only i will put first dikai or c learning online moodle sakai a tutor canvas um there are so many open edx chamilo eli adam uh, eli adami pharma lms olat edmodo piasa canvas wordpress blog social media based learning i'm so sorry nowhere i have put moodle yeah see it is there online moodle cloud moodlecloud.com and moodle.org is different that we need to download and deploy we need to create a server uh, that is the thing we need to consider i have given priority for moodle third position so this is how softwares are categorized i have categorized all the softwares into 25 category so this 25 category i used to address minimum 3 days to 5 days workshop so all those things mind mapping software learning uh, i'll just walk through with that end note video recording software lms for video based learning presentation software software for rubrics creation software for assignment submission instantaneous assessment software learning through gamification mind mapping software software for visual effect i'll show you one uh, visual effect how i am bringing in my um, material can you able to see the word file which i have created um so this is the yes, text generator so computer language pro this kind of uh, running head uh, aesthetic effect you can create every material which i prepare uh, will be like this so i'll show one more also see this is the material today i have prepared so i'll start with agenda then what is the topic diagrams and the subtitle and the goes on 
end with every topic of session i will end with a summary or mcq or further uh, reading uh, reading stimulus i used to give stimulus for further reading or excitement so this kind of uh, software how to for that aesthetic software also there are plenty i used to articulate one minute uh, we'll go ma'am is it visible now my excel sheet yes ma'am excel sheet we are not able to see then new share now ma'am no ma'am share on yeah jntu is there ma'am yeah jntu yeah i can see ma'am i yeah. can see the excel yeah now uh, another software is software for assignment submission assessment software learning with gamification mind map software software for visual effect software for peer learning and collaborative learning software for data collection coding platforms mobile apps for coding platform english language learning software and uh, there are software for astronomy geography kind of uh, exposure buzzer system live streaming software certification animation software google addons tool suit annotation and whiteboard tools and plagiarism tool so it's categorized so tools alone if uh, the pedagogical philosophy bloom's taxonomy Yo uh, charlie yokomoto levels of problem solving that all that philosophy or uh, the teaching philosophy need to be brought uh, it would take minimum one week of short term course or 10 days so with that note uh, there are a lot of qa i need to address that also before concluding yeah how do how to learn all these things uh, yeah periodically you need to invest time so every day you can explore one one tool and you can immediately administer uh, that all you can do google meet only to register students of google class can we schedule class through yeah google meet you can schedule 10 days ago you can schedule or within a day you can schedule and uh, register students google classroom through if you are going google meet will register all your students detail it will uh, gather stand alone google meet if you go that is different through google classroom if you go with the google meet it will be different class work they how to delete a particular section which section google classroom you want to ask delete a particular section i didn't teach how to delete a course in the google classroom i need to delete also i'll come back with that deletion i used to do plagiarism and credibility sources can be solved in blender learning ma'am yeah that's what google classroom gives plagiarism software no use that and uh, uh, you can uh, check plagiarism report how many online tool i know i know i have 50 plus but i have exposure with more than 100 feedback using google form yes that's all mathematics yes almost qa section i have covered uh, answering to you now let me come back to chat box if there is a no question yeah it's kind of uh, your expressions only that's fine thank you all of you for your enthusiasm yeah with that note uh, i go back to google classroom and i delete uh, the amc demo how to delete a course so because very first if you do know you need to do a demo class you need to learn then you crush that go for fresh class otherwise uh, committing mistakes uh, google classroom any change we do immediate notification will go to students so that uh, all those things uh, before including student you can learn or you can um, uh, learn through demo course and uh, with that you can go for now i click this uh, google classroom i'm going through the several method we can reach the google classroom i'm going through uh, google drive that are nine dots and changing that uh, uh, mail id i need to delete the demo course now amc demo if you look at here triple dot click this triple dot move this i can move to the last which is the course i am accessing first that should come first edit suppose i have committed mistake i want to write amc college of engineering then edit see edit will permit you to type once again this is where we started we are ending with that then triple dot copy you are handling for csa csa bay sit and create csea section complete a to z take a replica no need to do do to job got the idea now archive if i want to delete amc demo first i need to click archive it is double ensuring it will be logically available click archive not deleted we have see removed 
from my page it is removed but not physically deleted for that physically i want to delete means that triple line i need to click that triple line line come down archived classes so far now only one course i have archived right now click the triple dot restore accidentally you did if you want to click restore it will come back copy or else delete now once again it is confirmed delete i don't want this course deleting it is permanently deleted physically deleted it will take you to two steps one is logical archive now home classes all my classes it shows now logically i can delete see click this archive logical deletion then we need to go to triple line and we need to go for archive classes archived classes permanent delete the triple dot only the solution yeah almost to go moodle if i touch upon no oh my god i don't know login <laughs> so i have created yesterday one uh, password with that i can go let me try moodle cloud what password i did let me try everything i have stored i don't know this is the link that the password problem all the software collapse is there for me yeah with that you need to go on it will take a login creating course itself have some 20 minutes uh, it will take creating course then adding your participants uh, moodle uh, i think so they can't come and join you need to bring your student it has a excel sheet structure that kind of data we need to create that we need to import then when we import all the students will become user then you need to customize there are plenty of steps uh, creating course maybe 20 minutes then inviting students uh, bulk student or single student uh, is a uh, two different strategies to invite uh, students and I, i will go on and uh, how to create a course how to set a mcq how to grade your student then uh, whatever we discussed uh, the features of the google classroom everything is available but it is a little bit tedious i can say uh, the, with that uh, we can conclude uh, the today's session Yes, uh, we can go for uh, validity or whatever. Uh, yeah, ma'am. Um, two more questions, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Somebody asked, up uploaded a video in streams. How to see in classwork? Uploaded video in streams, sir. Google Classroom. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, Thank Google. You. We can upload a video in the Google Classroom also, but uh, we can't track who is the student watching, who is the student not watching. Say, I am coming to Google Classroom. let me take this course i can go to class work i can create material then add file file is a meaning that even video file also upload then browse i have a video i show you uh, i have documents zoom then bendicat has lot of video these are all my video let me take a small video this is google cool text video open see mp4 is loading this is one way to upload our video recorded video which is available on our desktop see attached ready students need to double click they can watch another way is taking my url, URL. copy paste url come back to uh, where is it the google classroom add link this link paste here add link this is also video only but this video the guy is watching from uh, YouTube. YouTube. This video drive my drive. It will store. It will give all the access for their uh, download or watch or pass that all the features. So with that they can do. These are all the two features. I'm not going to do Discord because this is the present course. I don't want to disturb. The de demonstration is over. Yeah. 
uh, but uh, none of the elements even moodle also you can't have pinpoint pinpoint detail who watched uh, up to what time watch that all detail log activity only we can do so in order to understand really students are heartfelt contribution they are doing then we need to go for ed puzzle only self accountability academic accountability monitoring is possible that uh, data we can uh, we can't download only ed puzzle is uh, locking all the report feature report if you want to get we need to uh, subscribe subscribe if not we can take a snapshot crop the screen see uh, i am showing now my students uh, details see this i can crop with that details see i can go back to content this content uh, my classes this i can crop uh, for the document evidences something like that then that uh, grading what i did a uh, grading now uh, this i can crop actually 66 students sir i don't know how it is deleted every time i used to show this is a demo something gone wrong see this all i can take screenshot screenshot or uh, uh, print pdf see print pdf print it, it all will record it written in the pdf form you can showcase no, no need to subscribe no need to pay money so this i can't copy paste or download in the form of excel that you can't expect yeah now this has come really see download grades that also they have done go live also new feature through ed puzzle live class you can take so yeah then the same video you can retain in ed puzzle also uh, those who are absent the, you can emphasize those students to watch those videos down download grades get the part include questions and answers see download recently it has been given when i used for my student it was not there so please explore all the feature periodically the features will be changing share assignment go live research student progress if i click everything would go whatever right now little i am having that also would go uh, download grade in my video also you can see 66 students responses delete assignment delete means gone so uh, this is the power of it puzzle but uh, google classroom you can showcase all the material you can showcase uh, when the students are interested to learn when they are in need they can learn Yes. Uh, and one, other... one more question. Somebody yes. asked whether any Google has any OS like Microsoft, Linux or anything. Android is their product, na? OS. Android is Google product. That's all. Uh, okay, ma'am. But then one more like, like somebody cannot see the plagiarism in the Google. Like even we all did it, we don't see the plagiarism. I think it is uh, frequently you do, you may get the plagiarism check, right? Yes, ma'am. That Google form brought that Google uh, plagiarism report. No, see, classroom has a plagiarism report. No, uh, if we create assignment, I haven't given assignment yet. So when I give you assignment, see, if I click assignment, see, madam, plagiarism check. If I toggle on, then it is going anything uh, related to this particular assignment. See, you can enable original report on three assignments per class, three only. After that, we may need to pay. So by the time I can make use of this, then those three assignments, it will give me the plagiarism. It will give us the plagiarism report. What percentage of plagiarism is exist in that uh, document uh, submitted by rule number one, rule number two, rule number three, it will give me the report. So this is the feature we may need to enable for students originality check or plagiarism check. Moodle, uh, I don't think so it is available or not. I am not sure because uh, Exactly eight years ago, continuous five years, right? From 2010 to 2015, I was uh, using fully extensively Moodle. After that, uh, and uh, that institution mandated me to use Moodle, so that I was using. After that, I am not preferring Moodle. Yeah. Any other question? Uh, uh, that's the, all. That's all. Like. Yes. Thank you all for your active participation, attendees, and. Uh, uh, thank you for uh, the organizing team and uh, Dr. Aruna for inviting me and uh, the entire team of AMC for uh, being active with this workshop. With that note, let me sign off. Thank you all. Wish Hello, ma'am. Yeah. Ma'am, there is a formal note of thanks, ma'am. Uh, over yeah. to Aruna, madam. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> ma'am, the okay. session was so wonderful. Uh, the participants, participants are across India, madam, from Jammu Kashmir to Kanyakumari. <laughs>
Okay. So there are 180 participants were active until the Google form. Uh, then slowly, because of the gate classes, some of the students are left. Okay. Uh, until the end of the session, there was 130 plus in the YouTube. More than 20, 25 people are watching and uh, live. So there are uh, out of three three hundred registrations, we can see more than two hundred participated. Okay. And it is a wonderful session and abundant information you shared us, and uh, definitely. Uh, i asked to sit one week to learn everything each and every point i think uh, is, really it is a great session thank you ma'am thank you a um, lot of thanks so i am thank i am thanking management for giving me the opportunity to conduct a webinar especially to the executive vice chairperson rahul sir and thank you for all the participants who are very patiently listening and asking uh, doubts and uh, clearing all the session and thank you for the principal and hod ma'am to given the full support to organize this uh, webinar without them i cannot complete this thank you for the amc and thank you mustak sir and final without a good speaker the webinar may not be very good so this uh, thank you lakshmi ma'am so you. much for the wonderful session and this is the detail about the speaker lakshmi ma'am and our hod and my anything you can call me or ask me we can uh, Give you the data, and the feedback link will be posted in the to the mail. And after you filling out the feedback, you will be getting a certificate. Thank you, one and all. Thank you all. Thank you for your ring. Uh, Lakshmi, madam, there are uh, very good messages in the chat box. Uh, okay. Many are uh, thanking you uh, with a very good uh, four four lines of explanation. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Excited. So we will all heartedly thank you once again. Thank you. You have shared an abundant information to us. Uh, it is a great knowledge day for us uh, it is a memorable day in our uh, webinars thank, thank you, you so thank much. you very much for accepting our invitation yeah. please whenever you come to bangalore uh, you please give a one message so we whole heartedly will invite to the our institution ma. yeah for data analytics also you can think of any other workshop in the subsequent Definitely, i can do ma. data analytics and uh, yeah thank you okay ma. thank you thank you very much ma'am for your thank you all thank you arna ma'am See thank you all. You, Wish you all success. Certain days. Thank you for your compliments and appreciation and uh, enthusiasm. Uh, with that note, wish you all success. So let me take a sign off. Uh, thank you all. See you. Thank bye you, bye. Thank you. Mustak sir. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Uh, can we leave the session now? Yes, 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 ma'am. You can leave. Okay. Just thank display.